live. We're just waiting for people to figure their ish out. Even. <laughs> sure. Although the stream won't be able to see it, but we will. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Who looks like a pig? <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's the spitting image. That's good. It's not as bad as it can be, or as it has been, yeah. That's odd. Whew. So tonight we're just doing nap time, right? That's all that's planned. <laughs> Little bit. But that's my secret. I'm always tired. <laughs> uh, I mean, I actually slept better last night, I think, than usual, because I was running around during the day. But then I was also up late working on that stupid, dumb homework. Yep. Yep. Still need Lansy and Trampsies. And then. Yep. Yep, because she doesn't love us. <laughs> he can, he's just ignoring you. Secret things. <laughs> if nothing else, stuff you need to watch Avatar just so you get to the secret tunnel episode. Or oh, it's you've seen Last Airbender. You haven't watched Korra. Is the thing. There are four of Last Airbender. There are three of Korra. Or no, there are there are four of Korra. Watch <laughs> instead of rewatching The Office, watch Avatar. Much better use of your time. Yeah, pretty sure. That's like end of season one. You have a lot to get through. 
not it uh it used to be. There's the champs. Okay. Yep. It's okay, the splash is up. Okay. Okay. Alright, um <laughs> Okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, let me go ahead and pop out my sheet before I take the splash down, but then I'm gonna have to adjust Skype faces anyway. So. Yeah, it. Yeah, and they just throw words into most of them. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna take the splash down. I'm probably gonna have to just Skype. We'll see. Boop. Oh, that's that's not awful. It's just because we're missing a person. There's a lot of gray space between for Steph and Ryan. Is it worth fixing or should we just leave it? I mean, it <laughs> it's just there's lots of extra space that... Yep. <laughs> I mean, it's not like we're gonna get that much back by fixing that space, and if Allison manages to join us, then it'll be all set. Okay, so I think I'm ready on my end. Also, OBS suddenly decided to start letting me capture my main monitor again, so... Things are back as they should be for me. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Do, 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 do. Yep. I had to redo my slings. I just decided to not have flame blade in as a weapon weapon anymore from the spell flame blade just cuz so that I wouldn't roll the whole spell every time but the update worked it oh yeah suta gave me many things I mean, it's probably something on my end. Up, oh, let me check. Oh, what Skype version okay. are you using? Whoops, that's that's. Let odd. me find out. Okay, it was some desktop hey. audio thing that wasn't capturing, but it should be fixed yeah. now. How Lindsay, are you using it? regular Skype or is it the Skype preview? Maybe it's because you're on Skype preview. But I'm not on Skype preview. But Robert is. I don't as far know. as I know. 
Uh, okay, should be able to hear us now. Uh, what are you, Skype? Didn't miss anything too important. We're just talking yep. about how um, weird Robert's camera is. How about you guys do like a recap or something? I'm gonna try and download a different version of Skype. <gasps> Sorry. Okay. I'll be right Let's back. Say hi to you. Hello, puppy. I paused down my shirt and why is your paw wet? <laughs> it's mystery moisture. <laughs> It Mystery might be puppy moisture. pee. That's what it could that's... be pee, it could be slobber, it could be water. That's uh, really a mystery. Mm. Mm, that's Hi. gross. It's not puppy. So we're gonna do an actual recap or are we just gonna watch the puppy? <laughs> I mean, I could literally just read the thing that Steph wrote up today. <laughs> there is that. That would oh, be yeah. wise. That's, that, that that's would... a whole story summary, though. Yeah. It's not that long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, I mean, I we could. I, I think session. we have time. Yeah. Where did it go? I don't know. I don't know how I to find it. I didn't recap last session in that, though. I just was like, we're at Sapphire City. It's not yeah. that long. <laughs> um, well, let's see. I have notes on what we did for a little bit of Sapphire City. I used to take more general notes, but I've started doing slightly... Huh. More just related to corn notes, but we can fill in as uh -huh. needed. Uh -huh. uh -huh. It's only like three pages long. <laughs> it's like less than three pages. So Two and page a half long. pages long. We can, we can do this second grade style and everyone takes a paragraph. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'd have to find I the link. That. I would have to as well. I can always send but... it to you real quick. But, uh. Or we could just be like, hey, we were in Green Hill for a while and there was lycanthropy and it sucked. And then we decided to break the law and go into the Feywild and we were like, yo, peeps infected with lycanthropy, do you want to like come into the Feywild so we can figure out how to fix you? And they were like, yeah. And by they, I mean a third of them were. And the other two thirds were like, nah. And so we went into the Feywild and then we went and found the Macure by killing a tree holder. And then we went back to Green Hill. The people who were like, nah, were like dead now, which was cool. And then we were like, F this city! We took a boat and then we went to Sapphire City. And then we landed there, and then there was a drinking contest, and then we went to a dude who knows a lot about magic, and we bought some things, and then we split up, and that's where we're at. that's where we are now. And no mention at all about the amulet. No! <laughs> so Ness is probably cursed Sorry, by yeah. an amulet we found in the Feywild. That's the thing. We okay. don't know that. Yeah. I mean, it's only, it's, a, it's only a curse if you know, you don't want to turn into a tree. <laughs> Corn can still well, talk I mean... to you. <laughs> oh, gee. But yes, uh, now we can see you much better, Robert. Am I yeah. zoomed out? You yep. guys yeah, can see, I like... zoomed out way up. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, not your left arm, but yes. Yeah, nice. well, more like here? Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. You did it. For a split second, I thought you were gonna go into a dab, and I was gonna be very disappointed in you. I actually I don't. Like I don't know what that is. It's during the one shot. I think it might be a stealth campaign to get people to sneeze into their elbows like you're supposed to, but it's the. <laughs> it was yeah. some like football touchdown celebration thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, I, I never would have gotten that. Yep. Oh, that's a Skype preview. I don't want up there in the corner. Um, okay, so fix that. Uh, close that out. Where's my Sparko cam so I can adjust my autofocus? Um, One of these days it'll all work out. There we go. One of these days, Lois. But yeah, so some of the other details from last session. The bar we went to, the bartender had actually seen Kaylee's brother three months ago. So what? the trail is not super okay. cold. Um, okay. We turned in our fur. We turned in the world's crest job officially, and we oh, yeah. decided to pick up a small maintenance job while in Sapphire City. But Sweet. we're splitting the party such that Skyla, Kaylee, and Corn are going to go take care of it. While Ryan, or well, Alaric goes off with the non Maelstrom Patrol members. Ryan's your incognito peasant name. You're not Alaric Montefel. You're <laughs> just. I've Ryan. actually been thinking about what my <laughs> incognito peasant name is. Oh my god. <laughs> What would it be? If you have oh a suggestion, um, chat, you can redeem the name and NPC reward. 
Um, there you go. I, well, it was either going to be like super not that great and just like, it, well, it's just one variation of one of his names, so it's either just Al or Del or Monty. Yeah, that was <laughs> oh, Monty. Oh my gosh, I vote Monty. Monty. <laughs> I love you for sure. <laughs> so, Monty and Nyessa and Silver are going to go. Um, I don't know if we ever actually determined to the university or to this symposium that's happening. Somewhere so that Nyessa can talk to someone about magic and be like, so what am I? Yeah. And, <laughs> yep, and Silver is slightly suspicious of Nyessa's attachment to this amulet. But she's not here tonight. Realize if I'm okay. Monty's just been at a dive bar. <laughs> Is Lynn soft for anybody else but me? She's soft what? for me. Yeah, you're, you're soft, girl. You're, you're soft. soft for me. Well, let me work on that, okay? <laughs> nah, don't let the world change you. You got a soft heart. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> Where's my volume? I don't know where Your volume didn't volume. change even though you got a lot closer, which makes me think that it's not your mic that is picking. Oh, like not it's the one around your head, not the What? Uh, yeah, T. That's my assumption. Well, oh, yeah, because you're... Does that do anything? To you, maybe. Oh, uh, oh. your headphones? Your headphones have a mic? Uh -huh. So your computer might be defaulting to your headphone mic, because... No, it's picking up the Yeti. Because well, even yeah. though you got closer to the Yeti, your volume didn't change. Oh, can you, can you stand by your, your phone, just so I can... I have no idea where the mic is over here. Yeah, yeah that was, that was louder. Little, what? thing on your, your yeah. strand. Your out output is using your headphones. Oh, Skype, maybe. Hmm. Yep. It says it's using my Yeti. It, it, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say. But I do know yeah. that it was louder when you slap, snapped here than when you did over here. Mm -hmm. So weird. Okay, bye. I mean, it's, it's, it's fine the way it is if, if you don't want to, like, mess around with it right now. To be, mm -hmm. I mean. Any other headphones? It's it's not that bad. You're you're a little bit quieter, but it's it's not bad. <laughs> we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Yeah. We'll we'll fix it later. <laughs> Carry on. Alright. Well we recapped. And I'll fix it now. We're ready to go. Alright. Um okay. Ready, ready, ready. Now that we're uh, right on time, 20 <laughs> minutes late, as usual. Uh, half steps, man. Yeah. Let's see. Half steps. Half steps, half steps. Baby steps. Uh, thank you all for coming out. Uh, love everybody. Um, so, when we last left, since I didn't hear the recap, uh, we had split... Um, did you guys leave from... No, you guys slept on the ship. Yep. And, so and ship left in the now. morning. Yep, and you guys went to the, um, uh, what is the name of the place? You went to, the, give me a second. The Rambling Rock? Uh, was the bar? Sorry, I was thinking you went to the potion, into the magic shop. Ah. Um, and I, I know it's in here somewhere. Just give me a second. I have it. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu, that's not it. Uh, sleeping Hippogriff. Uh, where you sold off some things, uh, you looked into purchasing some things, uh, you didn't get the answers that you wanted, and from there you guys went over to the Maelstrom Patrol area. Mm -hmm. And then you left and you guys were headed in basically the same direction, right? Yes. Okay. I just want to make sure. Uh, why is this doing that? Ugh, this thing is being weird. Alright. Um... <laughs> Hi, King. Uh, Okay. 
<laughs> Sorry. I know, I know. I'm trying to do eight million things at once. I had all day to prepare, and I'm ready, and I'm just like, get to the moment, and I'm like, <sighs> okay. So you guys uh, spent your first night in Sapphire City. Uh, you woke up in the morning, and uh, some of you were immediately afflicted again with the innervation. Um, those of you that passed um, feel a little bit more relaxed and better today than you did uh, the day before. I believe Skyla was one of those that had passed. Um, what? The innervation. Oh, right. Okay. Um... As you guys are making your way through the city, you are passing the, um, basically the drones of people uh, that are heading over to the expo, as it was called. Um, they kind of just seem to be like laughing and talking. Some of them are, you know, e eating snacks. It, it seems like some sort of event. Um, not too much different from a sporting event, the way that you're seeing people uh, kind of like head over in that direction with their friends and, and you know, a couple, a couple of them have drinks in their hands and, and snacks and things like that. Um, uh, you guys are basically heading kind of, not exactly against the crowds, but a, almost crossways to them, uh, in the direction of the Arcane University. And you're following what uh, appears to be the layout of the city uh, is like a semicircle that heads out from the Arcane University. Uh, Kaylee, you're pretty familiar with the, the layout of the city in general. Uh, you make your way pretty quickly. Um, for those of you that are heading to the job, um, it is actually located at a place that you've never actually been to um why don't you give me an, an insight check why don't you give me a history check kaylee history i got some of that Ooh. yeah you got some of that okay um so you're heading to a place <laughs> you're heading to a place called the uh Arcanademia Curiosus, which is, uh, it's a very, very old establishment in Sapphire City. Um, and it is very, very loosely affiliated with the Arcane University itself. Uh, you have probably never actually been inside. It's kind of a, a, an older rundown sort of building that at one point in time kind of held a lot of prestige um, and its mission that it catered to was very uh, it was held in high regard. Nowadays it's not so much so uh, it's almost more of a a joke, a, a ramshackle place uh, it, it's turned almost into a museum of sorts uh, and it's very lightly run and paid attention to these days. Okay. Um, you do know where it is, uh, just or at least the general direction of the city that it's in, just by passing <coughs> by, kind of picking things up. Um, so if you guys wanted to head that direction, you can. And that's where your routine portal maintenance job is. Cool. Okay. Um, for the rest of you, uh, which would be Alaric, Nessa, and Silver, who is feeling a little under the weather today and not very talkative. What do you guys want to do? Well, I'm just heading towards the where the place is with the people who were smart about okay. magic. So you're going to the Arcane University itself? Wherever it was that written told us to go, like where he was like, if you ask somebody at the what's it place, they'll they'll know well, more. So he he told you, um, he basically explained that there are people at the Arcane University that specialize in very like specific aspects of magic and uh, in a, essentially like the science. So uh -huh. in a, in a sense, like he one he runs a shop and his specialty is like artifacts. Stuff. Yeah. Um, 
but more in the selling and buying of said artifacts. Uh, there are people, just like any university, while there are people that study biology, there's also the one guy that studies the life structure of that one life form in that one spot of that. I mean, it gets very, very specific. So if you're looking for something you. like that, you can go to the university. He also mentioned that they do have an expo that's going on where they have a lot of things that are on display, but he mentioned that more in a that'd be fun to see and sometimes people blow themselves up sort of way. Oh, yeah. yeah. I remember this so, conversation now. Um, yeah. So... It's up to you guys which one you want to pursue. I want to go to the university. How about you, Alaric? How do you feel about life and things and goals and directions? <laughs> university it is! You called him the wrong name. I mean, Monty! Hi. Hey. <laughs> hey, Monty, where do you, where do you want to go? Are we ever left? <laughs> give, give, give me, give me a performance check sure. just to see how well Alaric holds up the. Sure. Yep. Spell right. Um, Is he suspensive? Yeah. <laughs> He's right. Um, yes, sir. So Is he right? All... <laughs> Is he all... right? Is this how you talk? <laughs> Is that how I sound to you? This is the, so you guys Nar? are all ready. <laughs> Nar? <laughs> you guys, you guys are all getting ready to go your separate ways. Kaylee, you are just overcome with cringe at the performance that you see in front of you. Yeah. The rest of you, uh, it seems pretty bad, but it it's it's pretty far removed from Alaric. That's for sure. It's, I mean, is it stage winning? No. But it'll probably do the job for most people. Are we all still kind of near each other? Yeah, you guys are heading the same direction. Well, you're basically you're deciding right now if you are heading in opposite directions or if you're gonna walk together to the car. Oh, oh, you, oh, you parked over here too. Yeah. What? Why are you talking like that? At Al Monty. Hi. Why, why are you talking like that? <clears throat> oh, 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 okay, bye. It's like that time you insulted yeah. his beard. I'm uh, also didn't. also doing the thing what? where... Uh, well, I don't actually... Uh, Nessa, you can answer this question. And so, yes. like uh, a long time ago, when we were kind of like talking about Valandor, we were thinking that maybe like humans might like wear uh, clothing or like hoods or something to cover up their ears so they don't like, uh, or especially an elven presence, so they not show off their blunted ears. Uh, right. Is that a Southern Heartland thing as well? I would assume so. Okay, Alex got his hood up and he is being. He's, he's also walking like not like tall and straight. He's kind of a little hunched over and trying to. Not cut a very. Um, Are you? Uh, do you still have your armor on, or? No, I think it's getting repaired, isn't it? Oh, he said that he took it off at least when we got here. I remember. I, I did say it. I, it's. I'm not wearing it if it's not being repaired. Whatever. Okay. Um, I'm in common clothes. Okay. All right. Um. So you guys are heading to the university. Yep. Okay. I hope I don't make so. Everyone. No. So Kaylee is. Um, humans allowed at the university? Are we allowed? I don't mm -hmm. know. Yeah. There's humans there. You, they got janitors. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> no, uh, they, they do. Um, it, so as you guys are uh, heading off, um, you basically, for most of the journey, are going along the same way. And the, uh, the Curiosus is outside of the university grounds, but it's at one point in time, it was technically like one of the outbuildings of the university. It had university funding, all that sort of stuff. Um, so it's it's basically in the same area. As you guys are heading down, um, the crowds are getting thinner and thinner. Uh, and as you head towards the university, you start to see the shops and stuff start to fall away. Um, the 
the like industrial look of the place starts to fall away and you come across more businesses, you come across more restaurants, um, uh, some of the higher end housing and stuff like that, as well as what looks like um, pretty uh, posh looking like it's it's actually it's, it's kind of uncommon. Um, the closest thing that you might be able to relate to it is like barracks, but essentially they're like apartments. Um, student dormitories and things of that nature but they're very very high end uh, and it's something that's really unique to Sapphire City so while Kaylee's probably seen this before the rest of you guys even those that have traveled to other cities um, this is probably something a little bit unique um, the number of like second story buildings and third and fourth story buildings is also unique to this city uh, a lot of stuff they don't build up they kind of build out uh, there's definitely a hand of magic in some of the construction here that you can see. A lot of it looks um, like it shouldn't stand up. Uh, it's very spindly in nature. It has a lot of elegant curves and stuff to the architecture. Um, but it's standing strong and proud and lining each of the streets. Down the center are the uh, sapphire glowing trees. Uh, still putting off light even though it's bright day out. As you guys approach, um, Kaylee takes you up to the gate of the Arcane University, which is um, very much for show. It's very over-the-top, large, gaudy, these wide, sweeping gates that are uh, entwined with all sorts of different uh, glyphs and runes. And as you guys are looking at them, um, the scenes that are on the front of these gates... Uh, at first, when you look at it, it looks like it's depicting some sort of battle between some large winged creatures and a line of, like, wizards that are casting spells at it. It's actually moving as you guys are looking at it. Uh, it's kind of playing the scene out, and uh, depending on how long you guys stay there, Kaylee, you've seen this before, after a certain amount of time, it switches to a different scene where there are uh, structures that are being put into place by uh, teams of wizards and building things up. And it, it, it's kind of the history of... Uh, this establishment and where it got its roots and what it's done for the world and look at us, we're so great. So uh, the gates are um, closed, but there are man gates that are open as part of it. Um, so those are open and people are coming and going out of those uh, as you guys are standing there. Um, within the central courtyard, the, actually the, like the entryway courtyard just beyond the gates, there is a tree that is glowing. It is one of the sapphire trees, but it is impossibly large. I mean, it is bigger than the tree, the Bogdan tree that you guys fought in the Feywild. It is huge. Um, it is probably standing close to 100 feet um, around in diameter. It's probably looking at like 40 or so feet around at the base of the trunk. Um, there's large uh, stone steps that go up to it and there's all sorts of um, kind of deck decorative stuff around it it's a nice little courtyard it, it's a lot of show um but it's very impressive it's very kind of in your face it's very magical it's almost palpable in the air there's that heavy thick kind of uh like that humidity kind of feeling of the magic that's like clinging in the air uh and you guys are at the arcane university it's large it has uh, kind of built in a semicircle, and it looks like it has um two distinct wings, one to either side of it, and then there's a couple outlying buildings, too, that you guys can see. But there's a very obvious, uh, like, entry point to the main part of the, the structure. Alright. So is there, like, a you-are-here map, or, like, one of those things on the wall where it's, like, for the zoology department, it's floor three. Yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of clinical in that, in that regard. Um, there, uh, there, you know, there's the the main hall, there's the big sign above the door that says Arcane University and Elvish and all this other stuff. And there's, you know, the someone's name on a building over there and all that stuff. So there's uh, an obvious, beyond the, the large tree that's out front, there's an obvious entry point into the Arcane University. It looks like the main, like the main hall, essentially. Okay. All right, I don't know what Silver wanted to do here. So I don't know what you wanted to do here, but I am going to just, I guess I'll go find someone who will talk to me and answer a question I have. Alec, do you want to just, I mean, Monty, dang it. 
Monty, do you want to just like tag along or? <laughs> um, yeah, I might tag along. I don't know what else I'm gonna do if I don't. <laughs> well, I didn't know if you like hidden new business here or anything. Oh no, just, just uh, you know, <laughs> chase on through. <laughs> All right. Okay. And so I'm, I guess I'll just look for um, any sort of information kiosk or campus map. So I can just map. Okay. Um, yeah, there's there's no like distinct map. Uh, there are some signs and things on the walls um, pointing you in the direction of um, uh, like, you know, different parts of the university. Um, there's like the artificers hall there's things like that all all sorts of different stuff so if you're looking for something in particular you could probably find like an admin building or something to ask around at um if yeah. you i mean if is there something specific you're looking for i mean are you looking for you what what are you looking for nisa i don't even know what it's called i just i just want to talk to somebody about kind of how people get magic and like how you know what you are kind of a thing. No, what you are. So, so I'm practicing. Um, <laughs> other, I mean, I'll, if this actually is of some interest to myself as well, um, in an academic sense, I suppose. But, <laughs> so, uh, is there like uh, a weird uh, question. Like is there any sort of divine element in your magics? I mean, I don't know. I think the last we talked about it was on the uh, the Wanderlust on the way to the, on the way to Greenfield. Because uh, I don't, frankly, I don't know why I have magic, where it comes from, and I'd like to know. <laughs> When I was at the monastery, I did a lot of reading and talked to Dahichi a lot, and we didn't really know. All we really knew is that it was kind of, you know, light based, and is, it's really like all we had. Like elemental or something? See what you mean? I guess. Like when I when I summon my weapon, it's really bright. So like the magic that I have, it comes from some. It's just. It's, it's bright and I didn't always have it. I only got it like right before I went to the monastery, I guess. Um, I don't know, I just I feel any, a lot better if I understand it. Was there anything that brought it on? What were you doing? I look around at all the people around. <laughs> um, and I kind of like go off into a slightly more private spot. And disappear. <laughs> no. I, I just, yep. <clears throat> and then I give a lark a look that conveys everything, <laughs> everything that I've ever thought in my entire <laughs> life. It only takes me 3.2 seconds. And I actually don't change my expression at all. It's like all of you guys. Um, it's all in the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't told many people this. Uh, I had a job that brought me to the monastery, and we had to, you know, hike up the mountain to get there, and uh, we didn't have the best timing, uh, because we got caught in a storm on the side of a mountain, and uh, one thing led to another, and I fell. And uh, I almost died. And all I know is... Well, I was at the bottom of this V. It was so dark and so cold and I was so alone. And I knew no one would ever find me, or at least if they did, it would take a really long time. And I'd probably be dead. So while I was down there, just um, in my own blood and pain, I guess I prayed for thought for anything or anyone to help me and uh, all I remember is there was some bright light 
and then I was like, I could get up. I found my way out of the living room back where I could find my companions and together we got back from the street. It, I mean, it took a lot of time after that, like, I was healed instantly I was down here. I don't know what happened or how, but like, my broken bones, they were still not great. And I did, I could get out, but... There. And that's where the magic comes from. I don't know what happened and why I'm different. That's all I want to know. Yeah. Did your mic go out for anyone else? Was that just me? Yeah, it, yeah when, you, when you said to like, whisper, right. talk quieter, it totally cut out. Okay. Great! Not totally. <laughs> we could still hear you and make out what you were saying. It was just... I, I could oh, I, not I for that last 15 <laughs> yeah, seconds. Yeah, the, the last couple seconds, I couldn't hear anything. What's so, um, I think I got the gist, though. Okay! Um, yeah, yeah, totally. This is great! So far. It's not your fault. Yeah. Maybe... It's... It's different. It's not like what I've, I've experienced. But there's some similarities there. Yeah? Yeah. Well, what think... was it? What, what was your experience? <clears throat> Maybe it'd be best if I talked about it later when I don't have to being for needed because yeah it's, it's pretty hard <laughs> it's fine. i don't know how i don't know how you talk like this all the time <laughs> well, i don't know either. i mean it's normal to me <laughs> yeah well i suppose so um maybe maybe we should go to a church or something yeah but i mean i tried praying maybe, maybe this i mean maybe there's a science for divine magic here our college for that. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. But I mean, I would imagine in this world, like science and religion are sort of. But I mean, since we talked on the on the ship, I've tried praying, and nothing is there. Like I don't feel like I'm connecting to anything. I don't feel like anything is hearing me. Like it's different maybe. than not answering, but I don't feel there's anything there. Maybe nothing hears you. Maybe it's nothing that you can talk. But I think there's something there. I don't know, I just... With everything that happened, I feel like this is the one thing that I could understand after it all, and... just really like to have something I can hold on to. I don't know. Until you have something... that you're looking for, You've got us. Yeah, I know. So, let's, let's try let's try a college for divine magic, and maybe they can turn us someplace else. I don't know, how, how open are you with your abilities? <laughs> well, I mean, it's not my go-to. Um, I'm just a little uncomfortable with it, because I don't understand it. Nothing's bad, nothing bad's happened. Um, I just, I don't know. I'm also worried what people might think. Like, why can you do what you do? Oh my I don't understand that. I don't, <laughs> I don't feel very comfortable being in Southern Heartland, letting elves know that you have any power. It's, it's not all like that. Um, I don't know what it's like up north, but really, you just kind of keep your head down a little bit. I mean, it's it's alright if you can do things, especially as a maelstrom patrol lead, like, you're fine. Like, they know that you should, that you have abilities to do what you're supposed to do. I mean, <laughs> uh, if you did have, a, for example, <laughs> something like that. Uh, yeah. It's, let's, it's just, not... let's just move on. Let's, 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 yeah. let's get to a, 
Let's get to a, a sage or something. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Just like right. you, Prince Alaric de Montevel. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. So, uh, as you guys look around, you realize you're pretty much completely alone. And uh, it seems to be very customary that when people go off to talk about things, other people don't eavesdrop in on them because it's a study area. Oh. <laughs> That's nice. Um... So, uh, magic is <laughs> magic. Magic. Uh, you 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 sound like a character from a movie, and I can't for the life of me figure out which one. And it's gonna bug me all night. So <laughs> just keep doing what you're doing, and I'll get it. But if I just scream a name all of a sudden, like Eureka, <laughs> you'll know oh, why. It? Yeah, it's it's um it's real hard, guys. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> we can just pretend. We'll like use our imaginations and pretend. No, 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 no. <laughs> so, it, it's actually it's it's perfect for what is actually happening. <laughs> <laughs> What's worth you doing right. great. <laughs> so uh, you guys head on off uh, uh, up the stairs, basically, and yeah. into one of the um, admin buildings, and you know, find someone that's looking, you know, sits, like, in a desk that looks like they belong there and begin asking around. Um, if you want to go ahead and roll, both of you roll investigation, and because Alaric knows what's going on, his roll will determine if you get advantage. Okay. Uh, oh. Question. Um, I know that this doesn't have anything to do with what I'm about to roll, but, uh, the innervation thing, oh. I, I think I failed it. Um, okay. And I don't know what that means, so. Okay, so if you fail the innervation, um, what it means is that you, because you're a spellcaster, mm -hmm. you, you expend one of the highest spell slots. Uh, the highest level spell slot that you can cast, one of those is gone. Okay. And uh, that's it. That's it. Okay. Cool. You just you you wake up and you feel a little bit drained, and it as you're you know for everyone in the group uh, that casts magic when you're casting your higher level spells, it's you almost feel like you've been running a bit. It, it definitely comes from within. It kind of pulls that energy out of you. You feel like you just you just feel a little bit more tired. You feel like it's been drained um, mechanically you've lost access to that slot. Cool. Um, it's, yeah. So, um, okay. Uh, Alaric, uh, spending a lot of time trying to make sure that he goes unnoticed while trying to be helpful doesn't uh, seem to get very much anywhere. Um, you do get kind of lost a little bit in the, um, not the bureaucracy of it, but the, the kind of the, the red tape of trying to find exactly what you're looking for and asking people different things. Um, you pluck away at it for probably a good two hours before you finally come across someone that's like, oh, uh, you know, uh, I was sitting in, there was a lecture and someone was talking about something just like this. Um, oh, what was his name? Uh, and he, he's sitting there, he's thinking about it, and then finally it just comes to me. Archibald. You want to go see Archibald. He's over in the Grayson Wing. You can go and talk to him. And, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, uh, you can't miss him. Um, half Elf, he's in one of the study halls in there right now. He's almost always in there, so I'd, I'd go and see him. Perfect. Thank and, you. Yeah. You guys make your way over there. Uh, while that's going on, um, and they're spending two hours doing that, um, Kaylee, Nia, Skyla, and Corin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah. You guys leave them at the gate. Um, probably spend a couple seconds kind of like pointing things out to them, maybe show them the giant tree and, and the, the gates there and stuff. Uh, and then head on your way, or is there anything else you guys wanted to do? On our way. Okay, um, as you're uh, heading off, um, you do see, um, well, Corrin, uh, there, there's a bit of a, like, curiosity and kind of majesty to the, to the tree itself. Um, it's clearly a, a, an incredible feat of nature, mm -hmm. but also just, like, 
there's a lot of powerful magic that's there. And just as, like, a druid, it almost toes that line between something amazing and, and just, like, this work of natural art and perversion for you. Mm-hmm. Um, just however Corin would accept that, it's definitely... Um, I, druids of Valandor would probably fall on one side or the other. Um, but as you're going forward, it's probably something to just bear in mind. Okay. Um, you guys uh, head along the outskirts of the Arcane University. Um, there's not uh, exactly like an, a wall surrounding the entire university. Um, there is the very fancy entry gates, but it's pretty much like an open campus, so to speak. Um, but there's very clear delineation of where the university grounds are and where everything else isn't. I feel like someone out there is keeping track of how many times I say the word very because it's like 300 tonight so far. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, so you guys uh, head towards the outlying area of what used to be part of the university grounds and is kind of just fallen to the wayside lately. Um, a lot of the buildings there are older. Uh, they haven't been upkept as much. Um, there's definite majesty to them. There's definite magic to them. But you can see that they're a bit more worn. The, you know, the plants on the side of the road are a bit more overgrown. And the, uh, the sapphire trees that are in this area are fewer and far between. They're not as prolific and planted every few feet. Um, there's one here, there's one there. Uh, and it's definitely pushed up against the outskirts of even the city itself uh, towards the uh, the mainland on the back side of the city where the Arcane University kind of sits and everything else is built out from it is where you guys are heading. Uh, after walking for some time, you come to a small area um, with some ramshackle looking buildings kind of almost leaned up against one another uh, and you come to a very old stone building uh, large in size um, the windows are kind of dusted over and above the door in stone is written the uh, Arcana Demia Curiosus and uh, the door is closed but, and it doesn't look like anyone's coming or going there's a sign out front that says welcome, but it, it who knows how long it's hung out there. It looks a little weather beaten and worn. Um, what do you guys do? Uh, okay. Um, should we not? Yep, and if, well, yes, let's start with knocking. That's a good place to begin. Okay, so as you guys go up to the door, wooden old kind of sagging in the hinges a little bit and you knock on it uh, it actually kind of pushes open um, it almost it's like a store door uh, it's it's not locked it's during business hours sort of thing and uh, as you knock it, it swings open a little bit it kind of sags it doesn't swing as freely as some of the other shops you've been into in town but uh, it does open up and you hear a little bit of a chime that goes and starts <laughs> at the door and kind of just rings throughout the building just a little tin, 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 little magical note that kind of strikes through the air. Um, as you guys are looking in, uh, for those of you that... Well, it's lit up inside, although dimly lit. Uh, what you're seeing is a... Uh, it's not a storefront. It's It looks more like a museum, almost. Um, you're looking in. There's a little bit of a front desk there. And all around, there are shelves with different little trinkets and old beat up weapons um some spell scrolls some books that are in strange languages um and they're all arranged and each one of them has a little plaque in front of it um as you guys are standing there you open up the door the bell goes off you kind of take this in for a second um you hear a voice ring out from within uh older um kind of softer uh, voice that calls out in elvish it's, uh, oh he- hello he- Hello? Uh, excuse us. We are from the Maelstrom, Maelstrom Patrol. We're here to service the portal here. Oh, oh, y- yes, yes, come, come in. And then you see bustling out from behind, um, there's like a back room bustling out. There is a older woman, uh, high elf, uh, very dark skin. Um, at one point in time, probably gorgeous. Now, just 
on in years. Looks like she's worked most of her life. Um, a little bit stooped. Um, still well put together. Still takes care of herself. That sort of stuff. Um, she comes out and she's, oh, uh, uh, Maelstrom Patrol. Uh, yes. Yeah, what was what was your name, dear? And she reaches out both of her hands to like clasp yours and kind of shake it. Uh, my name is Kaylee. This is oh, Kaylee. That's a that's a beautiful name. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, this uh, is C- uh, Corin. Oh, Corin. Hello. hello. We don't uh, don't get many druids here. Thank you for coming. Who else is with us? Is that is it just us? And Skyla. Skyla. Oh, and this is Skyla. Oh, Skyla, dear, you are just absolutely gorgeous. Oh, that's wonderful. Kaylee. Where? Kaylee, what is she saying? Oh, she's speaking. You said she was speaking Elvish. Speaking okay. Elvish. Uh, uh, I turned to Skyla. Oh, she's saying that you're very pretty. Oh, oh, oh. Thank oh. You. She switches over to Common at that point. Oh, oh, how rude of me. I am so terribly sorry. It's just, uh, it's, we don't get very many visitors outside of, uh, from outside. I'm so sorry. Uh, how are you doing today? I think we're doing quite well. Uh, I'm good. Okay. Um, from the Maelstrom Patrol, that's so interesting. Uh, so, how long have you been with the patrol? Oh, well, we've been with with the uh, was coming on a year, maybe. This is right. Is that about right? Six, six to nine months. I bet you've been all over the world then. Like nine, uh, surprisingly, nine months? no. Uh, we we've seen we've seen some some interesting places so far in the heartland. Uh, <coughs> we've only uh, been to like one, two, three, four. This is our fifth place. Mm-hmm. Oh wow, that is wonderful. I've I've always thought that there was something romantic about the Maelstrom Patrol. It's just, you know, in my younger days, I kind of considered it, but I just I couldn't give up the work I was doing here. You know. That's that's great, and you you look you have the trappings of a bard. Are I, mean, I noticed your instruments? Are you musically inclined? That I am. I uh, I've been playing music for a long time, as well as uh, doing a bit of storytelling here and there. Oh, I love stories. I've I've never had quite an ear for music myself, but uh, I could tell stories for days on end. Uh, I mean, I uh, well. Sadly, it seems like all I collect now are stories and not much actual research goes on, but that's, that's for another time. Can I interest you in something? A biscuit, tea, anything? Oh, I, I'm fine. Uh, I think we're okay. We, we would just love to help uh, manage your portal to make sure that you're able to continue your work. I'm sorry, oh, I didn't okay. catch your name. Oh, uh, my name is Manisha. Well, it's a very to nice to meet Manisha. you. Oh, well, thank you, thank you. Um, are you sure you don't want anything, maybe for the little ones? And she indicates to Fluffy and the trembling Yave up around your neck. Trembling? So, Fluffy's not really that little. Uh, he's, no, he's getting on. He's a bit big. I've s- seen uh, quite a few of those that come around here. They've become quite popular in, in the past few years. Really? There well, not, not quite like that one, but the, the Malgums themselves have... Um, I mean, they have their originations here, but that's an. <gasps> we can buy story. more here. Um, I'm d- possible, yes. Oh my god, I want to find them. Gotta get them all. <laughs> uh, I. <laughs> 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 I reach up to pet Yave, and I say, "Well, I mean, if if you have a berry or two, I'm sure Yave would appreciate oh, it." Um, yes, I I have some fruit here. Um, from my breakfast, I can never eat quite much these days, anyways. <laughs> Peckish and all that as you get older. Yave. Buffy yeah. doesn't fit in my cloak you anymore. You love me. He used to. He used to be really small, and now he's gotten a little big. I think oh. I fed him too much, but I think maybe I fed him the wrong thing. Uh, that that can happen. Um, some of the younger students around here, uh, they they tend to try and encourage that out of them on purpose to. Uh, interesting results at times but that's neither here nor there um so the the portal itself um i mean it's in the back it's a simple just just for heat for the place um it's working fine as i can tell but i i'm you know we're required to have someone take a look at it once a year and just ensure that everything's in working order so if you like um and then maybe afterwards i can give you a tour we have many things here and um, if there's anything that interests you in particular i could show you some 
Uh, perhaps, yeah. Let's let, but let's take a look at that uh that portal for you. All right. Uh, she takes you and leads you down into the basement, and basically, it's on a much smaller scale. It's similar to the portal that was uh for the World's Crest. Um, it kind of sits in a stone room. It's a lot. The portal itself is a lot smaller than the one you guys saw. Uh, you think that maybe your like hand could fit through it if it weren't a swirling vortex of fire, basically. Um, but it sits in a stone, uh, basically like a plinth that goes up into a vent and it radiates heat out into the vent that blasts it through the rest of the building. And you can see that there's some sort of apparatus to like close the vent to the rest of the building by sliding a plate in front of it. Um, just it's basically like a boiler is what it is. Uh, you guys take a look at it um, from your time in the, the patrol, just through your training. Uh, they got, they showed you types of portals like this. Everything seems to be in working order. There's no errantness to it. There's no, uh, you know, hijinks or, or anything kind of wacky going on. Uh, it's pretty much what it is. And it's, you know, the day's pay for you guys. Okay. It's so hot in here. Oh, yes. Well, we, we don't stay down here for very long. And she's actually standing out back by the, um, by like the door. She didn't want to go into the, the boiler room, essentially. It was too, too much for her. Well, everything looks fine here. <clears throat> uh, did you, you mention that you, you've, you've, your research has become somewhat, uh, story collecting. Is that right? Oh, uh, of sorts. Um, this used to be a, a fine establishment a very important part of the university but uh in later years and and actually before my time it started to fall off a bit um and we do less research here and it's become a bit more than a storage closet to be perfectly honest but uh, i still do what i can and I, I still try and keep the place up and and um you know catalog and and if I have a spare time and the energy, I study the things that do come in. Um, they're few and far between nowadays. Oh, I see. That's um, still we, very interesting. Oh, thank you. Um, it used to be back in the day that essentially we studied the things that, um, well, is the one that brought me in is that we try and uh, discover the undiscoverable. Uh, anything that seems to fall out of the realm of commonplace magical knowledge it lands here and and we have some of the items that um some of the other wizards have tried to study and could not quite crack or uncover its secrets and and they ended up here as long as they weren't too dangerous and uh we tried to study them and some of them we uncovered their true nature and others have just sat here for some time but oh. um anymore nowadays uh, it's almost like a lost branch uh, there's not much that modern uh, magic can't discern uh, I guess but we still have a, a few curiouses and curiousness curiosis lying around <laughs> curiosities uh, discover the undiscoverable uh, tell me do you know anything about this thing that I'm gonna the truth seekers. The truth seekers. Huh. I'm, I'm not sure it's ringing too much of a bell. Why do you ask? Oh, I've stumbled upon things here and there in our travels, and uh, if if you specialize in the obscure, uh, that was one of the more obscure things that I have learned of. Oh, well. Um, go ahead and make a persuasion roll. Persuasion is really high. Come on, persuasion. Yeah! You rolled a three and got a 13. Mm. Yeah! <laughs> uh, GM whisper. <laughs> um, she kind of studies you for a little bit. Hey girl, um, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Shaskala and I leave. Oh, She says, um, it's kind of curious that 
someone in the Maelstrom Patrol would be inquiring about the truth seekers. It's it's a little bit out of your realm of uh, responsibility, though, wouldn't you think? Oh, absolutely. It's not a Maelstrom Patrol concern. It's more of a personal hobby thing is how I still do maintain my profession as a bard. Uh, I commonly look into, uh, as you say, the um, undiscoverable to use as a platform for entertainment. And what did you say your name was again, dear? Oh, I'm Kaylee. My name is Kaylee. Kaylee Leoda. I thought there was something familiar about you. I am assuming you mean in reference to perhaps my father, Eolus? Yes, I knew Eolus some time ago. (laughs) I'm just crying on the inside, it's fine. Uh, uh, I can only also guess that by your concern for uh, my interest in the true seekers, you are familiar with his um, past. Um, we we had similar interests in storytelling and collecting of kinds and he was uh he was a member of my order cool <laughs> <laughs> uh perhaps you i mean i don't need to ask her about the journal i already know that i have a key somewhere um I don't want her to know about the journal <laughs> because I don't know <laughs> if I can trust her. <laughs> um, uh, well, I, I, I'm i glad to have stumbled upon you, I suppose. I I didn't know what we were walking into when we took the job from the Maelstrom Patrol to uh, maintenance your portal, but um, I mean, any any friend of my father... Oh, well, you know, destiny has a way of weaving things together. What do you know of the truth seekers? I know um, the truth seekers focused on research. Uh, it, it began as more of a philosophical uh, drunk? No, philosophical clunk. Philosophical something or another. Uh, all seekers research one truth, mostly for pursuit of knowledge, but not necessarily to discover a hard truth. It was more scholarly. Um, I know that Galaxian shared one belief that every story told uh, contained a grain of truth. Every myth and legend came from somewhere. Eventually, um, the true seekers became known for their obsession over the truth of the Maelstrom Temple. Yes, um, many truth seekers were tempted down that path, and uh, your father eventually was one of them. And not much has ever come out of that. Whatever, if anything, there may be there is closely guarded. It seems. Uh, although I had thought for a long time that your father had given up that stuff, uh, but it seems he was drawn in one last time. Uh. As far as that, your guess is as good as mine. I haven't seen him in somewhere in the seven-decade range. Yeah. Um, From what I understand, a few of the Seekers that were working some time ago on something to do with the Maelstrom Temple, uh, they found something, and a few of them were called up and most of them were never heard from again. Oh. Uh, w- uh, was my father one of them? 
I... At one point in his life, he, he was very wrapped up in the romanticism of the truth of the Maelstrom Temple. Um, and I had thought that he had given that up when his family became more important to him, but I, I do believe that he was one of those that answered the call. Entered the call? Yes. Uh, one of the older members... Uh, who had been studying the Maelstrom Temple and, and trying to find out more about it, uh, reached out to several members uh, that he thought he could trust. And when uh, they came together, that was the last anyone had heard from them. Uh, do you know the name of this older truth seeker? I do. It's actually in one of my many notes. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm pull these things up. Google Drive. His name was Hamza. Hamza. Uh, <clears throat> do you know? Do you know where they met? Uh, I, I don't. Um, yeah, Hamza you... was a, a, a dwarf, um, and as far as I know, uh, he lived in the the Living Mountain. Um, and from what I understand, he was trying to infiltrate the Maelstrom Temple, whether through the means of subterfuge or through the front door, trying to become member or through dealings with him. I don't know. He played most of that very close to his chest. And again, I have not seen him or any of his associates in 70 or more years. Interesting. Uh, can I can I do like just like a general uh, insight to f see if this any and all of this information feels trustworthy? Yeah, go ahead. Eee. Um, as far as you can tell, she seems to be on the up and up. She seems to be very truthful. Um, seems to be pretty forthright and she looks like a nice kind elderly uh, individual um, uh, as you're uh, <laughs> insight checking her and kind of thinking you hear a voice kind of creep up in the back of your head just, I don't trust her <laughs> uh, I I cannot help but be grateful at this fortuitous meeting um Manisha, thank you so much for your help. Um, uh, we came here to help you, and it <laughs> seems like the tables have turned. Um, uh, just one last question. Do you uh, have any recent recollection of my brother Connell coming through town? I, I don't know if you would necessarily run in any circles that you run in, but... Uh, no, um... I'll, I'll be honest, I I didn't even know you. Um, and it's just more or less put two and two together. So, um, I mean, I can keep an eye out for him, but the name doesn't ring a bell, and I, I don't think I've seen anyone. Uh, That's okay. Uh, you he, he would most certainly leave an impression uh, if you were to cross paths. Um, yes, uh, we, we will... We will let, let's let's get on our way. Well, we've we've taken too much of your time already. Um, thank you again for your assistance. Uh, uh, are you sure I couldn't give you a tour? I, I mean, I have plenty of things here um, to take a look at. Some of them are very interesting. Uh, I look at Corn and Skyla like I don't know. What are you What are you guys gonna do? I think we've got time, and tour would be lovely. Some some of this looked interesting as we walked through, so 
Yeah, um, while you guys are, while Kaylee's having this conversation, what are you two doing? I mean, are you aptly listening? Are you wandering off and poking around and looking at things? So are we still kind of like on the cusp of the boiler room? Are we back in the room with all the curios? I mean, I imagine that as the conversation was happening, you guys were walking upstairs. Um, so there's uh, upstairs, there's the front area, and then there that has like a couple little knickknacks here and there. Uh, you guys actually walk through like the showroom floor mm-hmm. and into like the, the stairwell that leads down um, into the boiler room. So I imagine that she would have wanted to leave the boiler room because it was uncomfortable for her to being that hot. And you guys are probably standing in the showroom floor. And there are a wide arrangement of different types of things from suits of armor to, um, you know, jars with strange things floating in them, all sorts of stuff like that. I mean, it looks like an oddity shop basically. Okay. So corn would have been keeping an ear on the conversation, but looking around at what's in the displays. All right. Um, you find, uh, various different things. You find some, um, boots that are covered in a strange fur and with what look like bat wings sticking off of them. You find um, a jar with something that looks like uh, a human head, um, it, but it has kind of reptilian features, and around where the eyes are, there's a uh, like a blindfold that's tied tightly in place. The head's floating in some kind of viscous liquid, and uh, the hair looks like snakes with the heads cut off. Um, there's a suit of armor that looks like it's rusting and falling apart perpetually. Like it kind of crumbles and rust falls to the bottom of the display case and it just keeps doing it over and over and over again, but, uh, never seems to fully decay, um, different things of that nature. If there's anything in particular that you feel like might, you might gravitate towards, if you, if you're looking for anything just out of curiousness, keeping your eye open for something. Yeah, I mean, if there's anything that looks obviously druidic, he'd go check it out, but otherwise just looking around. Okay. Um, there are a few items here and there that are um, druidic looking. Um, there is one of them. It's a strange looking suit of armor that looks like full plate mail. Um, when you get close to it, though, you the thing that drew your attention to it was the inscriptions that were on it. Uh, there are druidic runes that are on it. Mm-hmm. And as you look at it closely, it looks like it's made out of wood and not, um, not out of metal. If you could go ahead and give me... Give me a history check. Yeah, I have no modifier real well. Okay. Um... Are you, well, I guess I'll just add, are you using your book with this would be the question. Would Corn be using the book? Um, I don't know if he'd pull it out right there on the spot for it. He might make a note of it to check out later. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, so you, you kind of glance it over and it's very, it's curious looking. It's not something you've ever seen before. Uh, it looks like plate mail, the 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 bark on or the basically like the wood the bark from the tree looks very tough it looks like almost like rough metal that's been hewn to look like wood or wood that's been turned into metal it's hard to like figure out where that line is what where it defines um the other thing that catches your eye is there are um uh two stones that are on either side of the room um they're probably about the size of your hand maybe a a little bit like they'd fit in your palm but they'd probably be really heavy um and there's a sign in elvish above it um and underneath it in common it's translated again uh and it says uh whispering stones and there's some druidic ruins that are uh like inscribed around the edges of those as well um uh what about you skyla what are you doing um, I mean, if there's anything, like, particularly shiny, that's, like, what she's going to go check out. But besides that, um, probably trying to keep her hands to herself. Okay. Uh, 
from a Skyla perspective, there's one thing in the room that kind of stands out above almost everything else. Uh, at the far end of the room, with the light like lighting down upon it, there is a glass case, uh, and inside the glass case, there's this really ornately worked um, sword hilt. It's just the hilt. There's no blade on it whatsoever, um, and. Uh, on the uh, display, there's an inscription that's written in Elvis, Elvish, um, but the hilt is gorgeous. It is, it has um, rubies that are encrusted in it, um, and there's fine etchings that are in it, and all sorts of strange letters on it that Skyla doesn't really understand. Uh, but it is flawless looking. I mean, it is very eye catching. Ooh, shiny. Um, and as you, like, remark on it, um, you hear, oh, um, yeah, that's actually one of my favorite pieces and probably one of the oldest ones that we've had here. Uh, well, I mean, there's many names for it, but, um, I, I, I call it the sunbeam blade. The um, sunbeam, like the sun in the sky? Uh, yeah, oh, the... Good. Oh, that's a big echo. Okay. Um, uh, it's one of the most remarkable things that I've ever seen, and I think um, begrudgingly some of the wizards in the uh, in the university would have to agree with me, and it's part of the reason that it's here. Um, we were studying that years upon years upon years ago before I even got here. But um, it, when you hold the blade and, and you activate it, it actually creates a, a sword blade out of pure sunlight. And oh, that must be bright. It's very bright. And the most remarkable thing about it is that while most arcane magic can replicate or imitate some of the more powerful forces of nature, fire, light, uh, things like that, uh, they, they can't actually harness certain things uh they 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 can't create sunlight they can only imitate sunlight through arcane means they don't have that power within them and we've tried through countless years to figure out exactly what it is that makes this blade work and, and we can't and the words on the hilt are or inscriptions are no use to us so they're not like anything we've ever seen before uh, and as you're looking at this now, and if anyone else is looking at it as well, you do see similar... You've seen etchings like this before. Um, it's relic, and you're not sure if... I mean, you can't make any of them out, but you do recognize them from the temple, for those of you that were there. Um, and the pommel on the blade... The pommel on the blade, uh, or on the hilt, actually has a very similar worked-in rubies and sapphires and things like that. It's <laughs> uh, you've seen that insignia before on Alaric's amulet. Oh, <laughs> I, um, I, I don't trust I don't it. it. <laughs> I feel you, like need to, you need to watch out for this, Manisha. This is dangerous. Yeah. But it's it, just because we don't know what it does doesn't mean it's dangerous. I don't I need to like... know what it does. I need to know who it belongs to. And it belongs to a butthead old god. Just because you don't like him, Kaylee. Well, wait, <laughs> Tried wait, to what? kill us, what Skyla. Do you, what do you mean? What You know who it belongs to? Well, kind our, of. Well, well, our friend our Alec is, is a paladin of Lysander, and... Uh, we went to his temple um, over by a moss branch, and it had the same symbol thingy. You've seen this that. symbol before? Yeah, it's yeah, in a temple to hey, Lathander. Yeah. Lathander? And she literally goes and gets a notebook and begins, like, jotting down information that you guys are telling her. Oh, I'll tell her. I'll tell her every bloody detail. He, he, he has, like, a sunlight thingy, too. Like the and sun, he likes to put simple. people in a room with giant stone golems well, that tries to a, kill them when we're friends with, like, his paladin. That, that was, was a test. But, but Skyla, oh, it's oh, not a remember, test if when you fail it, you how, die. Remember how Alec was glowing that one time? Didn't Marcus tell us that he glowed like the sun? 
I don't know about Marcus. I don't know if that actually happened to Alaric. Marcus told a lot of tall tales, I think. Okay, well, he told us that one time Alaric, while he was sleeping, got really bright like sunlight. So wait, you you I'm know super. someone that but you know someone that that is a paladin? <coughs> yes, they, we they've we, seen we, the symbol before. We have a yeah. friend who Can I is, meet them? I mean we uh, can try, but he's kinda laying low, I think. Oh no, we just told all of his secrets that he's laying low. <laughs> I, we will see what we can make happen. I have a feeling it, yeah, it depends on his comfort level. Yeah, some of us are going to want to come back here anyway. That that armor over there catches my eye. I may want to. I mean, what you can, whatever you can tell me about it, I would greatly appreciate. But I may want to look into it further on my own. Um, yeah, the, uh, it's a strange bit of armor that we came across some time ago. Um, is uh belonged to a druid as near as we can tell, but. We don't know what type of material it's made out of. It's it's organic of some kind. It's not metal of any kind. It's actually some sort of um, wood or, or tree bark, and, and we have no clue where it comes from. We've never seen anything like it. And study as we might, it's not magically influenced the material. It's not infused with anything. It's actually grown and utilized like that. Um, similar to the sword... We know what it does, we just don't know how it does it. Yeah. Just making sure, because my last name is Stonewood. That doesn't give Corrin any clues or ring any bells. Okay. No. Just That's making so sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how Alaric feels. Uh, Alaric, okay writes it down we've said his name like 50 times already mm-hmm. yeah just checking <laughs> we just didn't double say checking. is that a l is that a l l a l l it's a r i c k alaric alaric or alaric yes Kaylee. yeah i tell her it's a. I would love to meet him i mean this has been a ongoing study no one can figure this thing out and if he has any sort of insight to it uh, there are literally hundreds of wizards at the university that would just be dying to talk to him about it. Mm, mm. uh sure i mean and if if he's not willing if he's not comfortable uh i i keep uh, maybe not as thorough records as n- not like a historian level records but i do like, uh, chrono bar, chrono, bard level, chrono, yeah, bard level chronology of of our travels and, and adventures, and so, um, do you, I, do you edit out the embellishments later? Or do you keep them in? Oh, I keep them in. <laughs> the uh, embellishments are <laughs> that's what makes it bard level. Yes, but I've, in every I've known story, my there's, fair there's, share. there's a grain of truth, and you have to go through three hundred. Bard embellishments to get there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Am I right? Well, if if we could arrange that, I I would greatly appreciate it. Um, it would mean so much to me. It's something that um, a dear friend of mine. This was his truth. Hmm. He never got to seek it. Uh, I don't know. I don't think an insight check would do this, but I want to see if she's got like greed in her eyes, or just like, like just really Sadness. like, oh my gosh, I've just like wanted to know about this for so long. I can't believe this just fell into my lap. Okay, go ahead. Greed, girl. <laughs> <laughs> greed. Uh, you're there's a definite eagerness in, in her in her eyes about this, um, but. As with anything, like, since you've come in, she's just been a very curious person. She's asked a lot about you, where you're from, who you're with, yada, 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 this kind of thing. And you think that she's, the reason that she's here doing what she does is because of how inquisitive she is. And this stuff is what 
she lives for. This is her excitement. This is her hobby, her passion. So um, you you sense that. You sense that there is this genuine burning desire to just know these things. Sure, I resonate not, with not, that. Yeah, not not for any other reason than to know them. Like she doesn't answer the question. Yeah, she's she's not looking to make money off of it. She the the reward is the knowledge of it. Sure. Okay. Uh, well, speaking of our friend and our friends, uh, we should be getting back to check in, make sure everybody has gotten through with the business they needed to attend to today. Uh, uh, Manisha, I do. Th- I think regardless, we we will be back to visit you before we depart uh, perhaps later today or tomorrow but um, thank you again so much the tour was lovely thank you and as she's like thanking you and and reaching out to like she's literally looking at the notes that you've given her and and Lathander and she's like going over and like grabbing a book and flipping through it and trying to find references and stuff to the things you've said Cool. Uh, normally, Kaylee would be interested in this too, but she hates Lathander, so <laughs> she's like, "Yeah, go have fun looking that up. It's gonna crush your soul." Um, <laughs> yeah, let's That's be fun. on our way because I'm excited to check in on our ship as well to see what we got done today. Ha, ha, right. ha, so you guys, ha, ha, ha. guys, go ahead and uh, head on out. Um, begin making your way back through. Um, Kaylee, so all three of you, go ahead and give me a perception check. Perception. Ooh. Ooh. We even have advantage. (laughs) Okay. Uh, So you guys begin winding your way down. Um, You see the last few tricklings of the crowds heading towards the expo. Um, It seems to have thinned out. Either everyone's already there or... Um, you know, maybe it's over. You're not quite sure. You've spent quite a bit of time uh, doing this, um, but nothing outstanding catches your eye. Um, and let's head back to the dynamic trio, minus the one that's very quiet today because they're not here. Um, so you guys uh, head over um, to find Archibald. Uh, as you kind of wind your way through, uh, you get over to the Grayson Wing, and uh, it's you know pretty nice. It's got its own library in it, filled with all sorts of volumes and things like that. Uh, you guys enter on the uh, ground floor and head over to one of the study halls. You start asking around for Archibald, and they're like, "Oh, uh, yeah, he's actually he's down um, in like." sub basement three essentially like he's down uh if you go around this area you'll see he's got a door it's got his name on it um and you guys head down and you're literally heading down to like the boiler room of the arcane university's grayson wing uh and down in the basement tucked away on the side there's a very um like dusty looking door uh that has a sign on it uh that says professor of arcane providence archibald theopolis pennington ethelbert grayson the seventh i love him (laughs) (laughs) okay all right well looks like this is it and i knock okay um as you knock you hear some uh paper shoving around and what? Uh, and the door kind of creaks open a little bit and you see a um, there's a half elf that's standing there uh, and at first you can't tell exactly how old he is he, he kind of looks young in the face um, but there's definite like premature aging His, the like blondish hair that he has is graying on the sides um, the lines on his face are a little bit wrinkled up um, but if you had to like put it in human terms he couldn't be more than like late 20s early 30s but I mean he but he's got graying hair and crow's feet and like he, he looks like he's almost old before his time uh, he's uh, 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 y- yes, can can I help you? Uh. Um, hello, uh, my name's Nessa, this is my friend Monty. 
we were directed to you to answer a magical sort of question that we have. I have really. Uh, uh, okay. Um, I'm 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 terribly busy. Well, okay, I'm not terribly busy. Uh, I I was told it was actually part okay. of kind of your expertise, like you've done, you've spoken about this before, kind of a thing. Is this is is this another prank? No, no. Do you get? That's not my business. I'm a visitor to this city, and I'm just, I just, I'm just looking for an answer. Is over. Um. Uh. Okay. Uh. Come, come in. Um, okay. And you, you guys follow. He basically just turns around. You guys follow him in, uh, into a study that is very disheveled. Uh, it has tomes all over the place there's um arcane sigils and runes that are scribbled on the walls uh there's some sort of uh blackboard that's there that has uh scrolls that are kind of like draped over the top of it there's notes that are written underneath the scrolls um it looks like there's a cot in the corner um that's got books and stuff on top of it there are tomes upon tomes of different books that are all over the place there's no rhyme or reason to any of it um he kind of looks around a little bit when you guys get in. Uh, he starts picking up books off of what uh, appears to be a chair underneath all of this mess. There's like some robes and stuff that are tossed over the top of it too. He begins cleaning that off and like just looking around and it puts them on the floor next to it and just kind of like pats it. Some dust comes off. He's uh, okay. Um, uh, and. And I'll sit over here, and he kind of walks around to his side of the desk and sits down. And he, uh, so, 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 what, what can I help you with? Um, so, this is really a question of like uh, magical origin, I guess you could say. Um, like, <sighs> I kind of look at Monty for like encouragement <laughs> slash like, how do I word this? Hey, um, why don't you go on? Give him a little display. Uh, all right. Might be space and, to just show him. All right. Um, so my question's about myself. I grew up without magic, and then now I have it. And then I summon my packed weapon, I guess. But I'm not trying to be threatening. Oh, jeez, I'm so oh. scared this is going to be threatening. So, like, in the flash of light thing that it does, I just poof. Uh, 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 uh could you... Did you put that away? Yes. Okay. Uh, so, what you you don't have you didn't have magic, and then you found a magic weapon, or no? You... I really what happened is okay. I almost died, and then I saw a bright light, and I didn't die, and then I could do magic. I missed that detail when the mic went out earlier. All right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I, promise kind of I, part. <laughs> I promise I was um, listening. I promise I was listening. Okay. Um. So. So. So you do. Do you, you think that you're? You. So you're. You're not a wizard. You. You. You don't study. Um, no. You haven't. Um. Do. Do you think you're a sorcerer? Is. Is that. <sighs> What would that be like? Um. Well. Okay, so I. I have theories on on the 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 providence of magic and and the origins and things like that, but they're not exactly. The reason I was thinking that it was possibly a a, a prank is because they're not exactly mainstream and they're not accepted as as correct or factual amongst most. Um, uh, of the the arcane university um, part of the people here. Oh. Uh, I've been studying it. It's uh, it's my life's work. Um, but I I do have theories that there are other lesser known or lesser explored paths to magic. Um, and and not all of them bad. Uh, although some of them are labeled as bad. Um. 
but generally, um, most people in, in this realm of things classify you as either uh, a wizard who studies to learn magic, and 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 uh, through tedious amounts of study and and perseverance and hard work, you can learn the finer arts of of exerting your will over it. Um, or they classify you uh, for arcane magic, not not including divine or or natural magic, which is a, a whole other conversation we don't have to get into. Um, the or they believe that you. Um, have magic that that exists within you that it kind of um, ex- you can call upon. Um, it's a bit more reactive uh, in the sense that it's it's something that you have happened to you versus something you make happen. Uh, but they the, the, that's sorcery that that's an, another branch of magic um, that's fairly common. Um, then there's uh, other paths to arcane magic, but they're not generally discussed or, or talked about because they're um, forbidden, so to speak. But I don't believe that those are the only routes to where we're getting to, or oh. where, where the ma- where magic comes from, and and that's what my studies are doing. And I've developed certain tests that we can do, but they're not. Um, accepted and I'm not allowed to perform them. Um, I, I haven't gotten the funding to perform them yet, um, but if I found some volunteers, I could go ahead and, and attempt it, but they have to sign some waivers and things. I have waivers over here. And he kind of just gets flushed <laughs> in for him. Uh, um, What's well, your tests? Uh, yeah. Uh, they're just... they They... They test that that test like the resonance. It's a little technical. They they test the resonance of the types of magic as you perform certain acts to see where it comes from. And um, ar- arcane magic uh, falls within um, certain frequencies. And and when you're uh, exerting it, and there are telltale signs, but um, some wizards can cast without the hand waving and and the components and things like that and some sorcerers can fake the hand waving and things like that so the signs aren't always exact but there are certain things that we can do to try and test these things to see and and define the lines between where each type of magic actually comes from uh so i just cast something and that's it uh well it's a bit more strenuous than that it would probably take a few days and you'd have to come here each day I looked at Monty, so yeah, I'm nodding. Uh, all right. Uh, really, I'm kind of at the point where I'll kind of do anything for an answer. So, uh, uh, okay. Um, here don't, and don't he... lead with that. <laughs> well, it's out now. <laughs> uh, that, that's uh, excellent, wonderful to hear. Um, maybe we can actually further my research a little bit. I found um, the waiver, but I spilled ink on this one earlier, so. Um, I can make another one. Here's what I think. If you're not allowed to perform these tests, and if I can say this for you, uh, ma'am, I don't know that we want the results of this test broadcast anyway. Um, So maybe if we just both agree to keep mum... Well, the reason that I would would be doing these tests is so that I could... um, put the results into my research so that my uh, findings would be taken more seriously at the the level above uh, not the basement yeah oh. they call this a wing I'm not sure that's fair well the the whole building's the wing um, um, right. I just have this one office kind of got the tail feathers I guess uh, that's an analogy so, is there a chance that whatever we find could be bad for uh, either of us? I, I don't understand how it could be bad. We would just be finding out... Well, you said that some magics are forbidden. Well, like, what if it was something like that? I mean... Like, what, did you... Like, did you... Ta- like, did you go with someone? Did you summon, like an otherworldly creature that like you made it you shook hands with and he said if you if you want magic i get like like your soul or something like that i certainly hope not but uh frankly i don't remember 
I was dying, there was a light, and then I wasn't dying. I think and she remembered a deal. We won't be here. That's that's fair. Um, well, what we can do is um, we can do the test, and then we'll know. I look concernedly at Monty. I'll be right here. Nothing will happen. This is this might be he, the only if, way for us to find the truth. If he wants to attend, like he can be. There's it's no problem. There. All right. So does this waiver include like a line of like if the results are unsavory and I don't want them publicized, I can say that. No, you can say that. Yes. Okay. Cool. Let's do it. I mean, you can say whatever you want. He's oh. he's having a little semantic joke with you. Oh. <laughs> uh, the, I Could would be I... expending what limited resources I have to perform these tests, and right. it, uh, it and... would be in furthering my search and my studies. Right. And I'm all for that. Uh, can I be anonymous, perhaps? Uh, if that's the way that it must be. I won't. I don't have to list your name and your home address. All right. Cool. Where do I sign? I have to get a new waiver oh, tomorrow. Right. I'll have a new waiver. Cool. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Okay. Uh, I'll I'll clean out the, the I'll clean out the closet across the way, and we can do that in here and there. Uh, okay. All it's right. Thank you. It's a pretty big closet. All thank right. you, Archibald, for being willing Fuck. to do this. Thank you for helping with the... Thank you. You're welcome. We'll see anyway. You're welcome in advance, Thanks. hopefully. Okay. Alright, bye. Bye. <laughs> cool. Okay. <laughs> that, that, so you, that was you met fun. Archibald? <laughs> I need to. I think, yeah, I, think this yeah. would, I think this would be I'm trying not to make a pun but it, I think this would be illuminating you know <laughs> yeah I think I think this is good it is progress at least it's more than I had um, yeah. nothing so. else you can check, check, tick a box move on yeah yeah well, let's go find the others. That took long enough for a five-minute conversation. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll keep an eye on him. I'll make sure he don't doesn't get up to anything. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. So you guys head out of the Grayson Wing, uh, back towards the front gates, and make your way where? We never decided where we were going to meet up. Probably, like, the boatish direction, because that's where we live now. Okay, uh, you guys start heading that direction. Um, could both of you make perception rolls for me, please? Sure. You sure. fall into a pit and die. Let's not do that. Oh! You're much better than our group was. There's yeah. a pit there! Alaric, you see the dragon! <laughs> Here comes the dragon! Uh, so as you guys are um, walking back, uh, Nessa just kind of keeping your wits about you a little bit on edge, keeping in mind that Alaric's trying to keep low. Um, glancing around, you don't really pick up on it first, but after a little bit, you're pretty sure that you're being followed. Um, and as you glance back and kind of just try and keep tabs, you see an uh, individual wearing a long gray cloak with it pulled up. Um, the cloak is... Uh, at first you think it's very dirty, but then you realize that it's just the material of it. almost looks ashy. Um, and as they see you kind of turn around and, and look in their direction one time too many, they just quickly turn down a alleyway and you don't see them again. So do I recognize that sort of... Luke, was, did he have any ex insignia on him that I could see? Nope. Very nondescript? Okay. Yep. 
All right. I'll just throw a companionable arm around Alaric, like pals walking down the street. I think we have a tail. Silver's right Silver there. says. She? Yeah, Silver is. <laughs> wow, Silver wow, says, wow, 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 wow. Excuse you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a colloquialism for when somebody's following you. Honestly. Um, I think Rikini bought it. He's already moved on because he noticed that I noticed. I'm not sure if it's you or if it's uh, another reason. We should get but, back to the ship. Yeah. A circuitous route, perhaps? I mean, we can. I'm not sure it's going to make a difference. If they know we're here, they probably know we're on the ship. Yeah. All right. Well, that's fun knowledge. Better to know than not know, I guess. We just... Keep an eye out. Good, yeah. good eye. And yeah. it's disconcerting. Yes. <clears throat> cool. All right. And then we continue on to the boat. So okay. I don't even. I don't think I even have my sword on I me. Mean, I think I just have like probably maybe a dagger, like, and no armor, no shield. I got you, bro. Don't worry about it. Cool, cool, cool. Ness is like, I got like 30 weapons. <laughs> Basically, I'm like, we're fine, trust me. Alright, um, you guys head back to the ship. Uh, for Kaylee, Skyla, and Corn. is there anything that you wanted to do on your way back? Nope. Not on the way back. If I see a shop with arrows. <laughs> okay, uh, as, as you're heading back, you come across more than a fair sh your fair share of shops as you get into the industrial area that have various weapons and things like that. Um, you come across someone that is willing to let a Coral of Arrows go for uh, basically a little bit more than what they're worth. I think they're normally like a gold piece for 20 and he'd charge you three for 20. But so why are they so expensive? Well, uh, it's just uh, a little bit more difficult to get around here. We don't necessarily work on things like this. Uh, they're, they're basically seen as crafting materials, not exactly hunting materials. Can I talk them down? You can try, yeah. I mean, I understand that this these are crafting materials, but I, I would think that that would make them cheaper. These aren't enchanted arrows. This is pre-enchantment. Well, they're not enchanted yet, but I need them. To, you're basically... Asking to buy my, uh, my my wares for next week at a discount price. Your camera froze. Oh, no. <laughs> like a very That's suspicious fine. face. Um, That's, it's fine. Well, it's fine. Are enchanted arrows then? No, yeah, I, um, I feel like we're we're speeding up your sale process here. I feel like we're doing you a favor. It's not having to sell it to an enchanter who might be able to get a better arrow from somewhere else. I mean. I don't know what the arrow market here is like, but you could make well, a sale it's, now. It's it's not good, let me tell you. <laughs> uh, I mean, do you need materials? Because we're able to procure you more uh, wood for shafts, or could um, you could you procure me more arrows? No, but I'm sure we could procure <laughs> other arrows in other places. Thanks. Have a good day. And I I grab Skyler's hand and I start to walk away happily. Okay. Bye. 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 We'll we'll do better, Skyla. We we can find better arrows. He was rude, anyways. Right? <sighs> I have some arrows. I just feel kind of bad using my silver-tipped ones. Well, well, I think I think um, Nessa can help us out with that. If we can get her some ore, I bet she could make some regular iron tips for you. Let's ask. Uh, if 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 Skyla wanted to spend time, she can make arrows. Well, Skyla, why didn't you tell me that from the beginning? Do you think you could make some arrows? We're talking about arrows for like three sessions. Well, but you're you're a ranger who lived on a mountain. It's not like there was exactly a blacksmith around. So if you wanted to, you could probably. It would take you some time. It would be like part of your downtime activities, but you can make yourself more arrows. Well, 
We got a couple days, Skyla. Yeah, I mean, if you, if that's something you wanted to do, like on the boat, if you think that you would have thought about it beforehand and. Like, knowing you would need it before you left, you could have gotten some, you know, bits and pieces together. But, you you know, you need feathers, you need stone, you need wood. You have this is like seven... Feathers from corn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just seven days to die, but... Yeah. RPG style. <laughs> I mean, basically, you would, you would need the essentials of it to in order to craft it, but it's not out of the realm of possibility that Skylar would know how to make arrows. That's something that you would have learned... At a younger age. So do I need stones or would pebbles work? Well, you have to be able to, like, nap them, essentially. Okay. We're you on could, the coast. You could, yeah, well, not only are you on the coast, but also the, the Frostane Mountains come down, like, you're at the base of them. So it's closer to, like, Skyla's closer to her, like, natural habitat than she's been in a long time. I know, but we're still in the city. It, it's fine. Let, let's move on. All right. Um, so you guys, I, like, you can look for someplace else. They're just going to be more expensive here because it's not like a normal town that needs this kind of stuff. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I don't so, them. All right, you uh, you keep uh, heading on. Uh, you're heading back to the boat? Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right, so you guys all eventually meet up. Uh, it's, you know, not exactly nightfall yet it's probably late afternoon at this point in time um and eventually both groups reconvene back at the boat is what's his uh what's his bucket here um the the sailor Bribus. sailor bucket Bribus. yes Bribus is on the boat i would like to speak with Bribus. how was his day <laughs> busy uh, what what have you learned about the types of resources we can procure here, um, in Sapphire City for the boat? We haven't decided what we want our front thingy to be. We haven't made a choice on like our sails. We haven't made a choice on like a new interior color. I don't know if we're that far yet. Um, but I mean, with your experience and what you've seen around here, um, is uh, is there like an itemized list of things we can choose from? I don't. What are your thoughts, I mean, Bribus? There's, there's no catalog, um, but it's, it's uh, the like more most magical city in Valandor that I know of. Um, really, anything that you want, you could probably have made here as long as you have the coin and the time. Um, mm. They sell all sorts of fancy things for ships here. I mean, from, you know, depending on how gaudy you want to get with it, they've got color-changing sails, for crying out loud, if you really wanted them. Uh, that seems gratuitous. I do want it, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I have um, to consider the group, after all. Really, I mean, they have all of your usuals. I mean, they have your pitch and your tar and your rope and your sails and, you know, uh, spare timber and, and things like that that we may want to stock up on. They have rations. They have water. They have things that we can get. We could probably find some extra sailors to man the ship. Uh, if you're looking for something unique, uh, yeah, this would probably be one of the places to get it. Um it's just, what do you want? Because these freaking crazy thing, these crazy wizards will make you anything. I mean, if you want, <laughs> if you want, uh, 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 you know, sails that just light on fire as soon as they get wet, they'll probably do it. I don't know why you would want that, but they have them. Just because they can. I'm going to need a quote. Uh, <laughs> kidding. Um, great, great, great. We need to talk with the group. We need to figure out a name, and we need to make the front of the ship spit fire. Not really. We need to do something fun. Look at where we're at. Look, just, look at I the mean, opportunity that we have. Just keep in mind, your ship is wooden as well. I it's I was it's like an example, Bribus. I wasn't like I'm completely serious. I mean, it would be, it'd be magical fire. I mean, it was just like know, a it's, it's fine. It's funny. It's just you asked me to sail with you, so 
I Fair. just want to be on the same page here. Fair. Uh, have you? Did we put you? Did we put Rivers in charge of finding people that seemed trustworthy and saleworthy? I, mean, I barely remember that. Did we do that? We gave him a lot of money for like food so. and stuff and to pay people. I don't know. Uh, we'll we'll check with the with you maybe tomorrow when you've had more time to do stuff again. But all right, you are killing it, Bribus. Thank you. You're an all star MVP. Whatever like role name a ship person of your stature gets is that's that's you, my man. All right, and I did manage to find a few that are willing to sail whenever you're ready, but um. Wow. It's gonna, it's gonna cost. You're, you're, you're probably looking at, um, f- other than food and 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 you know passage or anything like that. It's probably gonna cost you at least a gold piece a day per head. Good to know. I mean, for for the more discreet sailors. Of course, of course, of course. Uh, yes, I, I'll inform the group. Yes. Dear group, <laughs> ha- did we pick a name while I was gone all week? Two weeks, actually. We've had two weeks to discuss this, We're and done. it didn't get discussed even a little bit, I can tell, by Lindsay's puffy, puffy <laughs> cheeks. It, <laughs> it so took us regrets. like... It took us three years to pick You Pick Gaming as our Shut stream name. Your mouth. <laughs> um, God, we need that name. Yeah, we, uh, well, then, I mean, I thought we talked about not changing the ship. I mean, I'm for changing the ship, but I, I thought think, we talked about not doing it. I think we need to, otherwise we're explicitly sailing in a ship that we don't own. I think it's more strategically sound to change we're kind of doing that anyway, darling. <laughs> I know, but if we change it, then we could get some forgery done that says that we own it. But otherwise, it Ooh, seems really just like keeps changing. <laughs> just keeps changing. We're, we're, we're on the ship. I feel safe here. <laughs> <laughs> you want to say it? Yeah. If we don't change it, then like Lydia Lindsay clearly isn't here. Word is going to get out that she clearly died. Uh, we need we need a we need a different ship. We need this yeah. to be a different ship. I mean, uh, Lord, what's his face? Did say that he wasn't going to report it for like two, three months. So we have a couple of months before anyone starts looking for this ship. So if we change what it looks like, we have two months ahead of us to be everywhere else and no one can find the ship because it doesn't look like that anymore. Right, That's just right. my thinking. Make him, confuse him, dazzle him, leave him in, leave him in the smoke. That's what it's <laughs> do on the stage. Call the, uh, <laughs> the useful Aarakocra. Oh, that sounds that, a little on the nose for something I'm not a part of. That's that's really long. Crimson Kraken. Oh, yes. The half sail. Crimson <laughs> Kraken. Oh, the half sail. We yeah. could like have half of our sail yeah. be blue in from far away against the sky. It looks like we have half sails. And the other half oh, on that's fire. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. At least look like it. Can we not? Set fire to the ship. Well, it doesn't have to actually be set off. Rivers just, just pokes his head in. Like could, we, could we not? <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying, I like you. Uh, you've done some great things. You went on a crazy adventure. You guys seem a little bit on edge with that stuff, which is fine. I mean, it seems like sometimes it takes that. You've mentioned fire a lot. To be fair, Bribus, you said it first. Also, she can shoot it out of her eyeballs could. sometimes, right? Like, Kaylee, Kaylee's got some fire things happening. And, I don't have I mean, fire things happening. I have lightning things happening. Oh. Well, lightning can set things on fire. That's true. See, I can be smart, too. She got me there, Kaylee. <laughs> <laughs> she out science you. <laughs> Boom. Mic drop. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Crack this stick. Boom. <laughs> Just, like, my bow. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you drop that? It get, becomes I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so we need to figure out this outside of the game because Robert's right. It's going to yeah. take us three years to decide a name. Yeah. Um, then I had something else. Oh, I wanted to tell people a gold per day per person. Mm-hmm. 
for the ship, which I, th- I think is a good deal. I mean, that's the yeah. working wage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, also, Alaric, I know you didn't want to, you know, be on the radar. Yeah, and I appreciate all of your discretion in that matter. Thank you. <laughs> of course. Uh, but also, uh, like, what Robert. if there was, like, uh, like, uh... There's a lady that has this sword thingy that has the runes that we saw at your temple, and we told her that we saw that temple and that you're a paladin of Lathander, and she really wants to meet you. So it'd be like a distant blip <laughs> off of a radar that, like, points What's the toward radar the you keep talking blip. about? What's also, the radar? Maybe it's, it's per- it, maybe it's pertinent now to let you guys know that someone was following us earlier today. Is there anything you didn't tell her? We your last we did, we name, did not I, spelled tell her your last name. Her. I spelled yes. your first name wrong for her, and I didn't tell her your last name or any of your other names. I'm but not convinced anyone you're... knows how to spell my name properly. She also <laughs> doesn't, she doesn't know that you're human. No, I'm she, not, I, I, I'm she, she actually, she actually she specifically, told her, <clears throat> she actually spelled sorry. it wrong, but because she doesn't know how to spell it, she spelled it right. On <laughs> no, I spelled I, it. I spelled it for her. No, yeah, you would know. Uh, <laughs> that sounded like I was being sassy, but no, you wouldn't know because you're a bug. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, so yeah, I, she doesn't know. Did you tell her that she's human, Skyla? No, your I race didn't remember. come up. Yeah, race didn't come up. It's just a, a paladin that was. Yeah, I think paladin I just said paladin of and was, named yeah. Alaric. Because she said the sword can have sun coming out of it, and they, but they couldn't figure it out. And then, didn't you glow one time, Marcus said, and there's, like, sun things happening with you all the time, and it just made sense. That's a little point. Okay. Um, so, she she's a collector of stories and truths and lore and Lathander collectibles. Uh, and she, if you want to meet with her to learn more about Lathander, I think she could be a resource for you. If you don't want to meet with her, uh, that's totally fine too. It's Kaylee, really you. Do yes? you have any magics that could possibly alter my appearance? I got a whole king of makeup, boo. No, um, <laughs> I've got. No, um,. Just, I don't. No. Sorry. I don't really spend my like my. I don't really like try to look different when I'm on stage because I just tell stories and sing songs. Uh, so I, my my magic isn't focused on uh, on all that. Uh, you know, um, changing my look deal. Um, uh, is she selling this? I can create a costume for you if we uh, go get some supplies tomorrow. I can definitely. Remember that time I made a hallway. I can also make a person. What? Like they're there. Now, oh. when you, I can make you invisible. You, your hallway was incredibly impressive, but I, it, that's quite a leap from a hallway to a person. Can you do that? I am going to cast. Where is it? Where is it? Where it is? I'm going to cast Silent Image of Alaric. Next to all of us. It's very flattering. Uh, <laughs> ideally, we, she could actually make it look like somebody else, so that they never know that what you look like. Right. And I can make you invisible, so you can speak for yourself. Just stand directly behind it. Or anywhere, really. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, but his voice. Would right. Have, yeah. Good call. It, it'd be Is really. It's... It'd be really weird if he threw his voice for no reason. I That's just good. like to do this as a hobby. You're so smart, Skylar. Yeah. This. I'm learning. Please. And... It, it seems like this would be a valuable opportunity for you to learn something else about your deity, Alaric. You don't seem to have a lot to go on. This seems to be a relic of his. It seems... Oh, wait. They didn't know a lot about Lathander either, though. She had books. I didn't read them, because I don't care, but she had books. <laughs> I care about you, that's Alaric. True. That's true. Don't make that face. I just, I just think you're in a really bad relationship right now. <laughs> and I, I, I support you. 
<laughs> That's basically what is happening. I'm like I don't I don't like your boyfriend. I you care about you. I hate who you're with. If you ever need to leave him <laughs> <laughs> We'll find you someone better. We'll find you a better deity. You need a, if you need a place to stay oh dude, my just God. To settle your life. Basically. How long uh, do you so think yeah. we're going to be here? I would say one to two more days. Or for few? ship things to get I or may three may or four. I an appointment to meet with someone here for the next few days. I don't if know that... how long ship changing takes so it could be longer. Imagine well, well, longer than a day. So my mother's a carpenter. <coughs> GM, do I know how long it, theoretically it would take to carpenter on a ship? The mother was a carpenter. How long would it take to sure, carpenter a ship? I'm sure you would if you knew what you guys were doing to the ship. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Want to change the thing on the front? So, like to change the maidenhead. Mm -hmm. That and thing. Like, change the name and the sails take, and the name. A few days. You guys are looking at a few days, at least. You're, you're probably looking at, at, at close to a ten day if you're pulling the old maidenhead off and putting a new one on. All right, okay. so based on my knowledge of craftsmanship, I think we're looking at more like 10 days, Kaylee. Oh, yeah, there, there, there you go. Makes sense, makes sense. I'll find some work and make us some money so we can pay for these things. On the things? Oh, the things and the people. Pay for the yeah. things, yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, that, yes. <laughs> we didn't stop back at the patrol office to turn in our job. We can handle that in the morning. Uh, yes. What time of day is it? Is it like evening? It's late afternoon. Um, okay. Pushing on towards evening. So we could should maybe stop back in there. We could stop back in there now. Should we also look at hiring uh, one or two extra bodies for lookout security? Yeah, because I was going to mention that. Followed. Yeah, uh, especially because sailors are all well and good, but we might want to like defend this boat at some point. So like, especially when we're not here. Do we want those thingies like we saw on Captain Nostis's ship where it pew things out? Oh, you oh. could get some pew pews. Some pew pews, yeah. You're talking about ballistas? Yes. Yes. Oh. Pew pew. I would know that. I've told stories about ballistas. <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, pew pews. <laughs> pew pew. Um, yeah, you had that famous story the ballista in the wardrobe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I can ask um, Brivis about ballistas. I meant like guards, but that's fine. No, I, I think one or two hired hands for guards would be perhaps advantageous. If you if you guys have things to do, I can go run the thingy over. I'll just take my carpet and fly the job thing over and complete it. Kaylee, is that legal in the city? Like, is that fine? Like... Overt this magical city. Yeah, it's yeah. That, that's They fair. make sails that set on fire. I think they're fine. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What did we say about the fire? Brivis, like, burst back in. He's like, I heard fire. No. He <laughs> stopped talking about it. I will just produce flame. This is a fire. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> they won't Brivis stop. Like, Never again. He runs out. <laughs> He's like, no. But actually, did we see people just flying while we were going through the city? Um, no, you haven't seen any, like, overly, uh, like, like, overt displays of magic. Um, but, uh, so Kaylee, you would know that, uh, it's not illegal to perform magic here openly as long as it's non-destructive, non-distracting, uh, like, it, it, basically disruptive or destructive. You can't do anything that's illegal in that regard. Um, but uh, it's more of just like decorum. Right? Mm -hmm. Just because we can doesn't mean we should. Um, so it, it's kind of just like like snubbed a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's not that far to walk to the to the Skylar docks a little bit. Yeah. Well, so yeah. Skylar, you're welcome to use your carpet. Some people might look at you funny about it because they're sort of hoity-toity about magic sometimes. Uh, but that's that's a call you're gonna have to make for yourself. Kaylee. Skylar. I'm blue. People always look at me funny. I don't look at you funny. No, well, you guys are used to me, but a lot of people look at me funny. All right, well. They won't look at you funny because yeah, you'll match I... the sky. They'll just see a flying carpet. 
a, a shining, <laughs> reflecting, shimmering carpet. Did your camera freeze? Yeah, yeah, yeah. my camera froze. <laughs> like, uh, on the I'm so blue sassy. comment. Yeah, it's yeah. so sassy. Kaylee, I'm blue. <laughs> what? I am purple. You're blue? Abadi, abadai. I'm so sorry that you're sad. Tell me about this. Um, Ryan. <laughs> uh, it's not frozen, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, no, it's in a different Uh, So we're going to turn that in. Uh, where would we go to hire a guard or two? I, would I know this, seeing how I did work as a guard for hire for a few years? Oh, no way. Me too. Hey, high five! Yeah, I mean, you, it depends, though. If you guys are looking at, like, city guards, they're not probably looking no. to right. head on out. But you were like, a I caravan so guard sense. specifically. Um, yeah. yeah, so you would know that, like, and to be all, like, to be perfectly honest, that the bar that you guys were in before would probably be a good starting point. Great. So, looking at the budget, are we looking to hire guards for tonight, or hire guards to sail with us? Probably some sailors that could double as guards. I believe Ness and I could train them up. Sure can. Uh, so, are you guys discussing this in front of Brivis, or away from yeah. Brivis? I'm assuming yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, that's fine. Oh, we we'll just wait until yeah, it gets just out of your shot, and then we say fire again and bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> kind of thing. Uh, so as you guys are discussing this, um, he's kind of nodding to you. Uh, this is um, ballistas, like perfectly doable. Um, maybe b- draw a bit of attention here. We might want to head somewhere else. Uh, typically, armaments and things like that are installed. The best place for them, City Monsoor. They've got so much pirate activity there anyways that it's it's not uh unusual to see that um i mean we could do it but uh you might draw a little bit of attention yeah, I'm um, sure that we need a build of wall vessel at the moment uh, we well i mean not sure you i think we now. what we need is speed um is well, there any wind in a jar or anything that we could get here uh maybe uh I mean, it'd be pretty expensive. There are some specialty things that um, some of the noble ships have on them. Um, not this one, but others that uh, certain sails and things like that. But that's that's fetching quite a bit. Um, you're looking at quite a bit of money <coughs> if you're talking about guards or fighters of any sort around the clock. That's going to mm-hmm. run you some extra coin. That's going to be a bit more than some sailors. You might want to look at maybe procuring some cargo find out where you're going next and Uh that is clever hey uh, are you from here brevis what was your name uh, no sorry brevis um kaylee yes these these colleges have a lot of money yes did they spend it on research yes you guys, when you were in when you were in Moss Branch, that was run by the uh, by by the Arcane University. The uh, what's her name? Um, your favorite Clarice. Uh, she was the steward over that. It was a research outpost for the Arcane University, and then the clerics had a uh, like a, a post there to work with them to like share resources essentially. Kaylee, do you think that you could negotiate with the college and perhaps some sort of payment for them to meet and study a paladin of Lathander? Ooh. You're making yourself sound like some sort of striped horse from another continent. You know a thing? But that's all. Not. Uh, I'm <laughs> not following. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just uncomfortable with the wording there. It's... Anyway, here's. Maybe. I'm just saying, we we need money. If they're that interested, and to be honest, I'm a little interested to get their clip as well. But maybe we can actually get something more out of it. 
I can see what I can do. Shh. Hold on for now. I, I do want to think about it. I'm just thinking out loud. Um, mm-hmm. And we are we aren't sh- strapped for cash. Uh, depending on, w- I think Brivis was insightful in that perhaps we hold off on ballistas until we get to a another port where our ship looks dramatically different. People don't know where this ship came from. Uh, I, I think it's absolutely mo- far more important for us to focus on uh, equipment and items that give us speed and perhaps yes. <clears throat> keep us uh, a low profile. I don't know if there's any large-scale illusion spells or anything that we could... I mean, obviously these things would be quite expensive. I'm just I'm just uh, dreaming here. So of course, um, uh, and yeah. So uh, the the we can get cargo <clears throat> that can support if we wanted to hire guards uh, permanently, or if if like you like you said, you and uh, Niasa wanted to train some sailors who maybe wanted to earn a gold or two extra for being a little more than a sailor on the boat. We have options. We have options. So we're not we're not inter- incredibly strapped for cash, um, because I have a bag of holding and I have a lot of money in it. I remember this. Uh, we have a lot of money in there. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, ballistas later cargo for delivery. Uh, we've got some sailors who are interested. You might want to talk to Manisha. Uh, we need to turn in our thing and get paid. Uh, great. If, if you're looking to do business with the college as well, um, I mean, these wizards types, they're, they're always looking for strange and, and weird materials, things. I've heard of people, um, sailing off to you know, either the east or the west continent and and hunting exotic creatures and bringing them in. I mean, you guys have traveled quite a bit. And, I mean, we went to the Feywild. I don't know if you've picked anything up there. I I don't remember much of that trip. But uh, those are the things that those fetch a fair price here. This would be the place to sell those things. I picked up nothing in the Feywild. I don't think. Besides Sorry. icky feelings. Other than a bad bad attitude, I don't get anything from the Feywild over here. <laughs> <laughs> um our Maelstrom Patrol is allowed to like branch out like that, you know, <laughs> contract. Is that a thing? Uh, um, branch out, knowledge. that's a yeah. funny choice of words, isn't it? <laughs> Just kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> By the way, Cor- what? But come on, leave her alone, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I, we are, we are right. We're like allowed to like. Yeah. 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 We- like like that. That's part of the enticement um, to the Maelstrom Patrol. Is yeah, you have like, you earn a fair amount. It's but it's dangerous work. But when you the things that you come across are also lucrative, and it, there's a bit of a, you know understanding there and if you and the other part of being in the mouse patrol is you don't have to take work yeah like if you don't want to take a job like you're not uh conscripted into the army you're you're like you had to go through to become members but if you just want to stop taking work that's on you like you don't have to do it you can just not accept portal jobs and go and find something else to do there's no Mm -hmm. but and that's why like it's specifically written that during the course of Maelstrom Patrol work, you can't be impeded. But if you're not working on a portal, that's why you guys ran into so much problems at Green Hill. Cool. So it's a yes, then. Um, Yes. All right. Uh, Let's turn in the thing. And did we write in the report all the honesty and the whatever about what happened at Green Hill? I'm just wondering. Did we? From a moral standpoint... I, I did. I, I think Corn's the one who ended up writing it. Yes. I wrote so? down that there was an issue with lycanthropy, which we determined 
came from the Feywild. As the full moon approached, a portal to the Feywild opened. We investigated it and took care of it and <coughs> saved as many townsfolk as we could. That is very diplomatic of you. <laughs> I've been spending too much time around Kaylee. <laughs> and I do hope that that was for the best. I think it is. We didn't lie. We account yes. for the events. But there is commission and there is omission. And you can be bitten for both. Gorn, did we give that amulet to the monks? No, I think we... Last I saw Nyessa had it. Oh! Yeah, I still have it in my pack. The one from the tree? Yeah. Were we supposed to give it to the university today? I don't remember. I mean, we could still put it in the chest for safekeeping. Yes, we could. Now are, that we're back on the, the boat. Still here? Are the monks still at the docks? I think I mean, as soon as we docked, they left. As far yeah. as I remember. Oh. They were like, bye, we're gonna find another boat to the world's crest. Peace. But I have mm. no idea if they've found a boat. I have no idea. Well, mm, do you think it's... It would be wise for us to possibly try to sell that item here, or would it, would, is that... Do you think that would be dangerous? Um, if Silva were here, she would say she doesn't think that's safe. Yes, I don't uh, think we should be passing off any of the things we found there unless we take them to Dahichi ourselves. I don't know. But we have it in a safe place, right? Uh, well, the safest place would be to put it in the chest that's locked in a hole, but... For whatever reason, yes, I keep holding on to it. I just said For it would be better to reason. talk about it here, is all I said. And well, we're here, so let's talk about it. Cool, let's do it! Does the let's hole... put it in the hole! Does the hole make let's you uncomfortable, Nessa? <laughs> I'm just waiting <laughs> to have to roll to get rid of this thing. Yee! Uh, Kaylee, she was in a basement for five months, of course. I know, I, that, that's very insensitive. We're not going <laughs> to force you. you to put it in the hole. All right, we are, we've already had an episode called "Put It in the Hole." Let's be careful. <laughs> <laughs> we have to make sure to kind of vary it up a bit <laughs> as we move forward. Um, but yeah, I, it just probably should just keep it safe. I mean, we, uh, Nessa, we we were being followed earlier. We should need to be careful. What we could get jumped out there. That's a very good point. And if I, I hadn't seen that person, we could have been pickpocketed for all I know. Exactly. Yeah. Do reaches we, for wow. amulet in pack. All right, go ahead and uh, go ahead and make a charisma saving throw. Charisma. Yeah. Or, or what, it was charisma yeah, last was time charisma. too, wasn't it? It was. Yep. Come yeah. on. I should have done it so much better. Oh no, I shouldn't have. Never mind. <laughs> e e oh, that was Why? Why so close so to a twenty. Average. Why? Uh, you know, Skyla just. I mean, you, you love her, she's amazing, but, I mean, have you seen the honey jar incident going on in her back? She ate that it, flower? You know? Th does my aura token there? Yeah. Oh! Yeah, sure does. So not enough? Just doesn't... <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Um, so, like, my hand is, like, was... in my pack, and I'm, like, pausing to think, is what's happening right now? Is that what's happening right now? You... You okay, Nyasa? Yeah? Oh, I was wondering, like, is, like, am I reaching and then, like, I just paused? Is that what happened? Um, well, so, as you're, like, considering this, um, and, and they're talking about it, and you make the decision to, not, like, consciously make the decision, but as you're starting to lean towards it, mm -hmm. um, you, you just have this thought creep into your head of, I mean, really, is Skyla the best person for this? Who, who, who would Nessa trust most with this? Nessa trusts Nessa. Nessa <laughs> trusts Nessa. <laughs> All right, so I don't know, guys. I think I've got this. Like, well, I can keep an eye on it. 
yeah, I'm now at the it, monastery. I know how these things work. I know how to keep an eye on it until I get there. This isn't Just something from pocket? the monastery. This is from the Feywild, and it's different, and it's Sutex. Well, I mean, the token or whatever that got us to Sutex's place was also from the Feywild, and we carried that for a while. I think I can hang on to this and keep sure. an eye on it. Sure. Can you um, It's not possibly... safe in your pocket, though. Yeah, can you possibly like a so, uh, tune to it like your weapon so you can just call it whenever you if need it? it is and... anything I'm like the dagger, it just kept coming back to me if I tried to get rid of it. So So let's test that. I don't I thought we weren't trying start... to lose it. <laughs> I thought we weren't trying to lose it. No, uh, we're not saying lose it, like toss it to the corner of the room and it should just zip it back to you. Yeah, we can put it in the chest and see if it comes back to you. If you I love it, it, let it go. I bet it does. <laughs> then you won't have to worry about it if you use it or not. Well, I mean, when you keep your gold on your person, you're keeping an eye on it, so... Oh, no, I don't keep the gold in the person. I keep the gold in the bag of holding. Yeah, no, I keep the amulet in my pack. Yeah, but that's not a bag of holding. Uh, okay. So, why... Touche! I... <laughs> Touche! Um... <laughs> I, uh, can I, um, uh... Guys, I uh, got this. We don't have to keep talking about it. I've got it. You're right. You're acting really uh, weird, Nessa. I would like to insight just because <laughs> I am a Me bit too. Can keyed I up on Fey Wild things. Can I also? <laughs> yes, fine. you guys can insight. If you feel like you're concerned. Oh, no! So, Bye, guys! What I want to do is... Try to stealth and then pickpocket? <laughs> Why don't you just leave okay. it? Can you um, it's not mine? in my pocket. It is in it's, like it's a literally like wrapped cloth up in the in bottom, the bottom of, the of my pack under everything. But you just can... cut a hole in the bottom of her not pack. Got, yeah, you can I've find got, that out. You can find I've that out. I've got a dagger. Okay, you're throwing out her good. bloomers and overalls and everything <laughs> to get to. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got a dagger. That's fine. I can um, cut the bottom of her bag. Guys, so, I mean, I've been traveling you f with you for weeks now. You don't trust me to keep an eye on it. No, I it's think not I'm going to lose it. Really yes, yeah, so of course we trust you. We're not trying to stress you out here. We're just, just skeptical of the origin of the artifact. I've I, I've had experience with things that we don't quite understand, and I just I'm just worried. That's all. Remember when we had to beat him up? <laughs> we don't have to bring that up. <laughs> well, I don't want to have to beat you up. Wow, that's. That the, she does not mean that in the threatening way that it comes no, off. No, I just don't want it to get to that point again where all of us have to beat up someone in the group. I don't like it. It's not That's great. A, so well, you don't have to <laughs> because as no. as this conversation's going on and um, just clarify with me here. That was the third time that you've rolled. Yes, to that was get the third rid time. of this. Yep. As you're having this conversation with your friends and this is coming up. Um, <laughs> You start hearing. What are you doing? Stop shooting on my desk. Um, Where's that coming from? Yeah. Whose desk? You you <laughs> start uh, you start to think, you know, Dehichi. I mean, he gave you the Vajra. I mean, he trusted you. He he that I mean that's more important than almost anything that's in the vault itself, and he gave you that task, and. Everyone else, the, I mean, Kaylee has a Sutex wand, and Skyla has, you know, the the hat, and and they said that you should take that weapon, and those are all fine, and you know they came from Sutex, but the amulet, why don't they trust you with it, guys? I've really got it. I mean. I don't know why... I just feel really pressured. No. <laughs> I came out to have a good time and I honestly feel so attacked right now. <laughs> exactly. It's alright. It's not a big fine. deal. I've it's got fine. It. Don't, sorry. We don't mean to pressure you. Um, we'll talk about it later. We don't... We're not trying to make you feel backed into a corner here. We're just... We were just... Trying to take inventory here, and don't want you to feel attacked. Thank you. 
I'll just do it in your sleep when you're not paying attention. Sorry, what was that? <laughs> no, that, that, nothing out there. <laughs> eh? Alright, so, Kaylee, what did you want to do? Well, I mean, I wanted to <laughs> sleight of hand while they were all talking. Okay, and where are you sleight of handing? And how do you know that the, the ambulance, where you're looking for it? I don't I know. I know. Okay. Be in the shop. No, she wasn't there when I was talking to Silver. Silver would know, but... Also, do we think Silver would have used her um, detect oh, thoughts oh. by now? I guess would we could Kaylee have used her detect thoughts by now? Well, like, Silver Kaylee's was... trying to not do it. She really wants to, but they went over really poorly with Alaric last time. She's um, trying hard. So, so but, Silver, I mean, to be Silver fair, the, the thoughts that are there... Here. Like, are just paranoid. What she is also what she's saying out loud. Mm -hmm. So I don't really know. It's yeah. not like we're gonna but get anyway. something out of that anyway. Not that you know that. No, we don't know that. I'm just saying. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Um. So we can't roll insight for silver. Is that what you, we just no. decided? Okay. Oh. Alex, Alex, not really insight because he thinks he knows what's wrong with you. He thinks you're just like feeling a little bit hounded. So he's not <laughs> gonna try to question that. Like, oh, it's fine. Um, Kay Kaylee will back Alaric's play. Yeah. Um, as far as missing players, as always, if you guys are in combat, they can help mechanically. Uh, but but RP and stuff like that. If you miss a session, you just miss a session. That makes sense. Okay. Um, well, hey, so hey, hey, uh, let's let's. Is there any is there any wine in the ship? I mean, I have I'm... the any mug, but that's not enough for all of us. Yeah, it's not. You you have the rest of the. Uh, I do have two bottles. The of mountain Elvish that wine. breathes fire. <laughs> you have what now? And I also have two bottles of Elvish wine. I think from the. Monastery? I want to. I want to save that the mountain's fire for a different thing, a strategy thing in my head. <laughs> so I'm gonna save that one. Did, uh, but yeah, I, I we think, have. Did Alaric? Alaric. Well, Alec was there. Yeah, he was there. Ryan I was where? Did, uh, at we, the we had a drinking contest. contest. Oh, fun! And Skyla and Silver and Corin all drank, and then there was it was this alcohol that like, at the end of it, like once it kind of got the best of you, you mm -hmm. like breathed or bur belched fire. It was awesome. Nice. So we have some of that now. We figured okay. Alec. Alaric would refrain from the drinking competition after what happened last time. Well, he's actually—I think he's actually really good at it now. <laughs> he's actually really, really good at it now. But more about how every, someone every, you drink everyone with I dies. drink with dies. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's that is true. Um, uh, so. Yes, I have right, two so, bottles of wine. So what, what's right, the game crack. plan? Are you guys drinking the night away? We'll just, we'll just pop a bottle and relax. It things feel a bit tense, and I'll just. Probably talk with Nessa for a little bit, just to um, human things. Just, just you know, just try to make up for the tense conversation, and to ju just oh. have like a casual conversation for the, like five or ten minutes after that, or something like that, just to Fresh. even things out. Um, but other than that, I, I, Alex probably not going to leave the boat tonight. Um, he's probably going to keep his sword close because he's creeped out about the followers, and that's it. For me. Are we going to send Bribis to do the cosmetic things tomorrow? Yeah, to start right. on that. And I do have my appointment at the university, but I'm sure that won't take all day. So, Elric, I could start working on your armor, getting that fixed oh. back together. Be nice. Thank you. Well, that's what's on my plate. All right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Pretty good. Turn Pretty good. The patrol job tomorrow. And see if they have any other small jobs. Yeah, let's try to see. I, I like the idea of trying to f get. Uh, I like just one good old fashioned adventure, you know? And just get on the seas again. Although, wait, no, that doesn't fit with my character. I don't like the sea <laughs> <laughs> at all. We could see if actually. there's some local work outside yeah. of. Let's stay on uh, land. <laughs> yeah. The Druid Circle is, you know, no more than a few days out of the way at most. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, near Skyla's home, though. I would like. I I would go with you. I'm like out of the city, probably. Still have plenty of stuff to do in the city. I want to read up on some of the stuff we saw in that shop. 
today. Mm. And we'll probably make another visit to her. Uh, mm. Kaylee will end up, uh, she's gonna find work in the city and do some some barding, uh, and continue to look for any additional clues on her brother where he headed. Um, and keep up with the maintenance on the ship. Like Loki, okay. Loki, uh, campaigning for Crimson Kraken. <laughs> okay, so you guys are basically spending the rest of the night on the ship here. Yep. Yeah. And then you're gonna set out in the morning and do a smattering of different things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you guys, um, you know. Uh, spend some time together. You guys have a few drinks, do that sort of stuff. Uh, meander around the ship, stuff like that. Uh, eventually, one by one, you turn in. Um, Ribis heads in, says he's got an early day in the morning. Um, is there anything in particular that you guys wanted to do before turning in? Yeah, just Go ahead. looking up the druidic items I saw in the shop, so the armor and the whispering stones, just to see if it's like a thing I should rush there first thing in the morning to follow okay. up on. Alright, um, go ahead and I believe it was a history roll. Um, go ahead and give me another history roll with advantage. Of course, this time I won't have a natural 20. 18. Okay. Um, so the Whispering Stones, um, you've... Uh, so the, the Whispering Stones you actually know a little bit about more so than the... Um, the iron bark plate. Um, you know that they are uh, essentially just like a an old fashioned way of communication between druidic circles that uh, is no longer used. Back a long time ago, um, druidic circles were more in touch with each other and uh, kept up and communicated, and they were kind of like wardens over Valandor. Um, uh, of like the natural order of things and stuff like that and it's kind of fallen away to where they now uh, as Valandor has become more and more populated they kind of are more like uh, I guess in, in modern day times uh, like park rangers you guys look over sanctuaries so there's small sections that are sacred versus nature at large um, and Whispering Stones a long time ago used to be a way of communicating between circles across long distances. Uh, they were usually set inside the leader's, um, you know, living space and or the, like, town hall sort of thing, and they would um, use them to communicate back and forth. They were two-way communication, so uh, it was very crude. It wasn't like you could communicate with anyone anywhere. It was, this stone is paired to this stone, uh, but it was across any distance in Valandor. Okay. Um, the Iron Bark plate you have no clue you know nothing about but as you're flipping through and you're looking um in uh the journal that you have uh you eventually come across an entryway for it uh that talks about the iron bark trees which are very very rare and they are they as far as the writings go they basically predate like some of the oldest cataclysms that Valandor has had. Um, and the land, uh, the note that's there uh, basically says the land where the trees grew is now lost. Um, but there were uh, some amazing pieces of uh, armor and weaponry that was made out of them. Um, specifically because being organic material, it was a way for druids to wear heavier, more durable armor in times of war and strife. Um, that didn't interfere with their natural magics where they can't wear metal typically. Mm-hmm. Uh, and what you saw essentially was a druid compatible plate mail. All right. Sounds good. Dying! Okay. Yep. Uh, does anyone else want to do anything before they turn in? Hmm. All right. Um, so everyone eventually falls off asleep one by one. Um, Night Greeks, the boat kind of rocking gently back and forth, and uh, Skyla, you hear a mm. knock on the door. Mm. Quiet. Mm. Um, I go towards it. Okay. You opening your the door to your cabin? 
Yes. Okay. Uh, you open the door to your cabin, and uh, as you look out, it's a little bit hard for your eyes to adjust because you don't have dark vision. Um, but you eventually make out the shape in front of you, uh, and you see Corin's face. Uh, and he, <laughs> the, the, the looks, the he just says, "Ah, Skyla, I, I didn't want to wake the others, um, but I've got some things that I wanted to do today. So if you could just let everyone know that I won't be back um, until tomorrow night, um, I'd appreciate it. I've just I've got a few things I need to take care of, um, and I knew I could trust you uh, with such an important task as giving them the message." Where are you going? I've just got some things I have to take care of. I've got a few errands to run around and and just li- little things like that. Um, druidic things. Where? It's, well, it's just it's it's very personal, Skyla, and I, I I figured that I could come to you and ask you because it would be less of a hassle. You saw how everyone else was earlier today. Okay. Thank you. Um, and as soon as the door shuts, I'm going to run to where I thought Corn was sleeping. Okay. Well, he's. Are you meaning? Okay. Um. So you guys are below deck in your cabins, and everyone has a cabin so basically he's just left his cabin and come to your door and then is leaving the boat gotcha 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 um that in that case i'm gonna shut the door and then like try to listen for like footsteps okay so he leaves you hear him up on the deck and heading out uh as soon as i hear him far enough away i open my door and creep out okay okay um and go directly to Kaylee's room and quietly mm-hmm. Kaylee yeah. Kaylee is it? <coughs> yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. are you decent can I come in I'm decent. I play a lot of instruments. I'm more than decent. I'm pretty I good. It, it's a, you know what I... Uh, whatever. Uh, just like barge <laughs> in. Kaylee, Corn I'm... came to my door and uh, knocked and said he was going somewhere. What time is it? Too early to be awake. It's, Corn is an old it's... man. It's fairly early in the morning, but it's it's coming up. It, morning's coming soon. <sighs> where did I, he say? I, where did he go? I don't know. He wouldn't tell me. He just said druid things, and he couldn't tell me where because it was a secret. What time of year is it? It's like winter still, isn't it? Um, is it summer? summer? <laughs> it's, it's it's like spring or summer now. Uh, it's literally we, the start of summer. Oh, it's yeah, it's summer dawn. We passed the, like, solstice, so it can't be something that has to do with that. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm not a druid. I don't know what druids do. I don't either, but I just think it's really weird that he would go off without telling all of us, and he, we were just discussing last night what we were going to do, and he has the work order also and we were going to take it and I don't I don't understand I just think it's weird do you want to follow him kind of okay let me just grab my sword because I use that sometimes all the time (laughs) mainly for cooking but okay (laughs) Veggies. Just in case. It's a rapier. It's really more like a skewer. <laughs> uh, get ready, and I let Skyla do the tracking. Okay. Sorry. I don't. I don't wake up anybody else. Apparently, she and I can handle this ourselves. Okay. All right. Bye, so you guys. guys get ready. You get your sword. You have this conversation after Corn has already left. 
And you head out where? Out onto the deck? Yeah. yeah. Skyla, can you track him? Can I track him? <laughs> yeah, are, are cityscapes one of your natural habitats? Um, oh, I didn't mean to push that. Crowbar. Not this way. <laughs> uh, I mean, technically, you guys are inside an urban setting right now. Uh, it's not on the coastline. It's really hard to track inside urban settings with all the foot traffic and stuff that goes on. Um, aside from going out and actually catching sight of him, which Skyla doesn't have dark vision. Um, Kaylee, as you come out uh, onto the deck with Skyla, it's fairly dark. There are specks of light here and there on various ships. You see people going by. Yeah, go ahead. Do I suffer the effects of swamp ass? <laughs> <laughs> no, you have. You Lindsay. have. Don't you have, have to make a check. For oh, you're talking about uh, yeah. intervention. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you <laughs> both have to make. I need, I need to, I need to know this. Okay. What is, what uh, is the check? It was a uh, wisdom saving throw. Save wisdom save. Oh, that's gonna be bad. Yeah. Yeah. So I can't polymorph and become something that can fly and find him. I have a carpet. I can make you invisible. It won't make the carpet invisible, but I can make you. In- Will it make the carpet invisible if she's well, on it? If, I think it can hold both of us. We can go up because even if I'm invisible, I can't see. Oh, so it will it will take both of us? Yeah, I think. Yeah, it'll hold both of you. So we both go. if we're high enough so that people won't see us as much, but we can maybe see corn. Let's try it. Let's try it. Okay. okay. All right, so you guys hop on the carpet and you begin flying around. Um, you do see people here and there, uh, walking from ship to ship. A couple of, like early risers doing business or prepping to set sail uh, with the tide. Different things like that. Um, Corn. A- as you're flying around, go ahead and give me investigation Corn. checks. Corn. Uh, Skyla actually couldn't. Well, it doesn't matter anyways. <laughs> That's apt. This isn't going to be good. Oh. No! Okay. Um, as you're flying around, uh, you don't catch sight of anyone fitting Corn's description. I'm sorry, Skyl. I just... I just can't find you. I hope he's okay. Oh, I'm sure he's fine. We can ask him when he gets <clears throat> when he gets back what he was up to. Or how his druid how things went. Well, okay... Well, let's go back and we'll tell everyone else in the morning, I guess. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Bye. Okay. So you guys head back. Uh, prepare to start your day. And that's where we're going to end the session. Cool. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. cool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm a tree, and Corin's an agent of Satan. <laughs> not Satan, Sutek. That's what I said. A lot of the same letters, I don't know. <laughs> Besides, Archfey and the Fiend are different patrons. You should know this, you're a warlock. I am? She Spoilers. doesn't know, though. <laughs> wow. Spoilers to the max. <laughs> Good stuff. <What? laughs> you knew all along? I was really um, for you. We were all Yeah. For you. So, there you guys go. Woo! Here we go. Another great day in the neighborhood of the half steps. Yeah. So, okay. if there's stuff for the ship that you guys want in particular, um, think about it. If if there's oh, yeah. uh, if there's a name that you guys want, probably come up with that. Yep. Is anything corn you want corn to pick you up while he's out? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking I can't technically contribute names or anything because mm. uh, I mean yeah. I think you could, that, that could be part of the drinking conversation yeah. that you guys had yep. before this happened. Mm-hmm. Um, but other than that, uh, great session. Um, 
I'm interested to see what happens next because y'all have We're raised some, some eyebrows. <laughs> We're into some shoot, is what we're in. I'm just more curious if you'll ever figure out who is following you. Dun, dun, dun. Like, was it for Alaric? Was it for Nessa? Was it just because? Was it for some other reason? Maybe it's for Silver. Maybe it was Maybe, Kaylee's it dad. Silver? Maybe it was my dad. Why are you following us, though? Just checking out my friends. <laughs> it could be anyone! Maybe it was Connell, <laughs> looking for Kaylee. I just don't know. Also, will Kaylee ever find her key? I, I'm pretty sure. Uh, uh, what's his face has it? Not Connell. Um, <gasps> Not the one you forgot about, right? Gozer. Gozer. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Gozer might have it. Maybe. Either go. I mean, it has to be either Gozer or Connell because I don't have a key in my inventory. Well, These are the thanks, <laughs> thanks for hanging out um, in chat. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, and please go subscribe to our YouTube, because we're only like 30 away from getting our own URL. That'd be Grenine. And if you're watching on YouTube, we love you. Comment below about what your favorite part of the session was. No, no, no. Tell us what to call the ship. <laughs> yeah, do that. Leave, if you're watching on YouTube, leave a comment below about what to name the ship. <laughs> if uh, your name is chosen, you'll get a shout out in the next session. Hey. Hey That's not false. You will. Thank you so much. Yep. Um, other than that, I don't have anything. We don't have any games scheduled until next Demon Seed. Until scene? next Demon Seed. I mean, I have a one-shot, but I don't think that's being streamed, so um, I still have to find out details and learn how to roll a character for 3.5. Ooh! Good I mean, luck. we might spar someday. Yeah. Someday. Someday. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Keep an eye on oh. Twitch. We stream games. We were streaming some before the session. So... Yeah. Oh, and if you guys have any leftover Electrum in your Revlo pockets and you want an extra Valendor session on one of our off Mondays, uh, go ahead and uh, check out the community uh, goal that we're having right now for this month. If you guys all pull in enough Electrum together and make that goal, we'll do an extra session. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I love you all. Bye. 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 Bye.